Hello, I am the Ronan Bourne, and welcome to a Twitch.tv slash Ronan Bourne live stream on Twitch.tv slash Ronan Bourne. We've been going for negative one hours and one minute already. I have begun time traveling. It is a wicked addiction. Once you get into it, you just can't really stop. I mean, especially once I figured out that you could touch yourself in the... in. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, welcome to the show. Hello there are... There, hello there, -er. there -er -er. hello there, -er -er. hello there -er -er to you as well as hello, well hello, as well hello. Just checking if Noah fixed the DSC bug yet. Nah, how, where's he gonna find time while we're all locked at home because of things that YouTube demonetizes the moment you talk about them? COVID-19! <laughs> I don't fucking care. <clears throat> hello, Cy. Mind if I just call you Cy? I was thinking about it. I always have trouble with Cy, Cy, Silas. Silas, Silas, it's like this whole process in my head, and then it's like, you know what? Sigh. Sigh. Works for me, if it works for you. Welcome to uh, the thing that we do on the Ronin Pawn with the thing, and we're gonna run some cluster truck today. And um, uh, last live stream we did the Twitch Percent Challenge, uh, which was, was the day before yesterday, last, because um, I've just been, I'm vampire sleep schedule presently. Um, so, yeah. I watched a lot of The Mandalorian. Well, I watched some of the... I don't know how long it is or how much there is to it, but I watched yesterday. I just kind of... Because I got Disney Plus now. Hey, buy it. I don't give a fuck. Um, but, uh, yeah, I watched Mandalorian. That's... that's. I like it. I like it. Spaghetti Western. In, I mean, that's what it always was, but this is really leaning into the Spaghetti Western, isn't it? The whole Star Wars franchise was very much that, but this is... Mmm. Mmm. Um... But uh, importantly, yeah, so I was saying, what, six tangents ago, six, 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 one, two, six, yeah, six tangents ago, uh, we did the Twitch percent, and Twitch percent, it was really fun, and I would like to do it again uh, soon, but I would actually like to have a, a bit of an interactive live stream today, by which I mean, that was just so much going on <laughs> uh, constantly that I felt like I really wasn't here uh, in chat with y'all, um, and it was still, it was a good live stream, I really enjoyed it, we had a lot of fun, but, um, I'm basically just, let's, let's just do what we usually do, you know, just do what we usually do, and what we usually do, what we used to usually do, anyway, was Cluster Truck no ability percent, it's been a minute since I ran, you know, my stock category, I got third rank, we need another, uh, 40 seconds or so to hit second rank in no ability percent, I gotta stay frosty, so I think that's what we'll do today, and that will, you know, because it is my category, I'm 
I can play the game and not even look at the screen, mostly. So we could actually have a conversation and things. Uh, hello, uh, back so soon. Um, what is it back so soon has to say? Uh, it says, Gregorio Bortus. <laughs> Gregorio Boris. Gregorio Boris. <laughs> uh, hello, Gregor. I'm just, I'm shortening everybody's name to make it convenient on my head. Gregor and Sai and huh. We'll just call you huh. <laughs> names were taken. Yeah, names were taken. Um, asses were kicked. All of the good things happen. Um, but yeah, I, I, let's, let's relax. Let's relax and speed run. We're just going to relax and have a little bit of a speed run. That's what we'll do today. Because I just, hmm. Uh, how you doing, by the way, huh? I just had a shower, so I'm all loosey. I'm all loosey and goosey. I got warmed up. I got clean. I smell... I smell better, better, better anyway, I smell. Uh, did you watch any more Marvel? Did I watch any more Marvel? I have watched everything now that I think I wanted to watch. Uh, although I'm interested to see Ant-Man and the Wasp, but Disney doesn't have that. Uh, yeah, it's under, you know, a contract. Somebody else has it right now, so they can't put it on their own damn platform. Fair enough in this fucked up world. Fair enough. But I think I watched everything that I wanted to see. I have now, um, gone to the end game, uh, by way of all of the things. And I found this list, I mentioned it before, I found this list online of watching, uh, the Marvel movies chronologically. Uh, which I think is, it, it worked out good, because I, I did that. I started with Captain Marvel because that's in the 90s, and, you know, just the things that I hadn't already seen. So I'd seen uh, Captain America and, and, you know, various things along the way, but Car Captain Marvel, I can't uh, I can't say enough about that was uh, a brilliant... I, I really liked Captain Marvel. Um, I only ever played Cluster Truck on Switch, and my only comment is pain. Is Does it hurt with the fingers and the buttons and things like that? Hmm. <laughs> Or does it hurt uh, psychologically? I mean, it's always going to hurt psychologically, so you must be talking <laughs> about the fingers and the buttons and that Nintendo continuously releases platforms and controllers that are basically just a, a rounded square. If You're lucky if it's a rounded square. They're just a square with hard plastic buttons on them. The rest of the world is like, ah, I'm going to pay $80 for like this controller that ah, just feels so good in my hand. Nintendo's like, here. There you go. Here, here. Here's the new controller. Uh, it may look like a numpad, but if you hold one in one hand and one in the other, <laughs> and and don't forget, it's got motion controls. So shake it when you want to get Mario to spin. Shake the damn thing. <clears throat> I would love to have a Nintendo Switch, though. Uh, I just can't can't be brought to mm, asked to with the and the paying for it. Uh, if the price ever actually drops on the motherfucking thing, maybe. But um, I know that I'm gonna want the Nintendo Online things. I can do the, the Mario Makers and the and Tetris 99 and do all of that. So, yeah, the the investment they have not. Uh, I mean, they never lower the price apparently on the. But I could get it used. I've looked at it before. Eh, eh. I got other things. I got other financial things to think about. You know, if I'm willing to spend money on a on a Switch, then uh, what about you know paying off your house? <laughs> The loan that I wrote myself on the house off of credit cards that uh, I have chipped away at. It's down to uh, uh, the lower end of $2,000. And um, I'm considering just throwing all of the money that I have at it just so that it's done. You know, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's, holding debt is not a bad thing. And especially, honestly, for your credit score, sometimes having debt is better than not having debt at all. But... Um, you know, I, I throw, at this point in my life, I throw $110 at it a month. I started out throwing 220 a month at it when it was like 9000 bucks. So we've come down quite a bit. Uh, but then times got tight and tough and hard, and so I just went down to, I halved it and, and did 110 and that's where I've stuck ever since. And um, I, I, you know, keep a, um, I always keep a parachute. <laughs> I always have some kind of a safety net because this business is just... Um, but you guys have been so supportive lately in the way things are going and the way that we've, you know... Throw a truck at that debt. You know, I've been thinking about it because between, you know, you guys have been so generous with gift subs and things and just having somewhere near 200, which that number is less. I'm, this is my fault. 
I don't live stream enough, but I just don't have the fucking energy to. Um, but, uh, you know, keeping that near 200, that just makes me feel like, okay, I'll be able to pay next month's bills, you know? I like, I know that I'll be able, because that's, that's 500 bucks. If it's 200, it's 500 bucks. And it's like, okay, 500 plus this and that and, and the cheers, thank you, Ben VOC, and the donations that come in over Streamlabs and uh, all the places you guys support me. If I see 500 there, Jesus, that's, that's good. Like, I, I know I can... I don't, I don't, I haven't made over a thousand dollars in a, I don't know, I haven't checked my finances in a while, but I'm, I'm a three digit a month kind of a guy, set up my life to be able to do it, living here on Six Mile in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, you thought Eminem was hardcore, I'm two miles deeper than that motherfucker. Um, <laughs> set up my life, bought this house out, right, $2,501, had nothing in it. Spent my $10,000 putting everything into it that made it a home and have lived out of it. And because of that, all I have to worry about is the yearly taxes and, you know, keeping the lights on. And that's how I managed to get away with uh, with the three-digit kind of an income. Uh, I have not seen, by the way, the uh, U.S. stimulus package as of yet. And I wonder if I will or not. This is what I wanted to do, by the way. Like, this is why, I, come here, this is why I wanted to, like, just do no ability percent. <laughs> because, like, I just wanted to chat and stuff, you know? And no ability allows me to do that a little bit more. But uh, I haven't seen my, uh, my stimulus package check yet, and I wonder if it's going to come in at all uh, via direct deposit anyway. I, I would expect that they would mail me a check eventually when they get around to that portion of it. But uh, the... The reason why I suspect I won't see it via direct deposit is because as a self-employed individual doing this for a living, uh, I don't get anything back from the federal government. <laughs> they don't they don't return me anything. I pay them. So like I've never they've never had necessarily I don't know how it works, but they've never necessarily had the the access to actually put anything into a bank account of mine. It's always been taken out. So I might be on a list where they can't give me the money even if they wanted to. The fuck are we playing? What do you think we're playing, Jim? What do you think? Uh, my girlfriend got her stimulus. It was direct deposited for her same account as her tax refund. And that's my problem is that I don't get a tax refund. I pay. Because um, I don't put anything in throughout the year. I'm self-employed. Uh, if I were like official of this business, if this were a real business and not just one guy, you know, scraping by on Six Mile, then I'd end up doing, you know, quarterly taxes and, and that kind of a thing, but uh, nobody's looking at me too hard. You know, they don't tend to look at you when you're below the fucking poverty line. They don't look too hard, and that's where I like to be. <laughs> right where they're not looking too hard at me. Uh, do, wait, buy more $30 feds. Don't disrespect Noctua. Buy more $30 feds. I still haven't put it... Oh my god, look at that. You just pick it up, and it... You just, you just pick and twist, and it starts to spin. That's how fluid and free those ball bearings are. I haven't replaced it yet because that would require me turning off my computer for any amount of time. That doesn't happen. Um, I, I really could get it in there without turning it off. But I want to turn it off and go into the BIOS and see if there's something I can, you know, I don't know. Did you submit any banking information on your paperwork last year? I... I don't know. I just TurboTax it, you know? TurboTax it, figure it out, and then honestly, and uh, I'm open about this, um... I've said it before, I'll say it again, if I get done with TurboTax putting in everything that I can think of in what seem to be the right places, and they want too much money for me, then I go back and change the numbers to something that I can afford. That's basically what I do. I mean, I could always pull up another expense and another expense and move the expenses from here to there, but basically I just, yeah, I, I do what, again, it's just my general life policy is, you know, if it's an unfair, you know, if it seems like an unfair amount, if, if I feel like you're robbing from me, and I'm not talking about the federal government exclusively here, but we talked about piracy uh, on the last live stream just ever so briefly. My policy on piracy is if you have made it reasonable and convenient and, and you know, of a price that makes sense to me, I will pay you for it. If you, if it feels like to pay you would be theft, uh, then I will thieve it from you. Mm. Uh, which is why I, I ponied up for the Disney Plus subscription, because it, it's convenient and it's reasonably priced for everything that I could have wanted. Um, so, you know, same policy sort of goes through the federal government. You know, I'm I'm making less than I'm, I'm making three digits a month out here 
and if it comes tax time and you want more from me than I feel I can afford, well then I'll just move the numbers around a little bit until we come up with a reasonable figure for a person, um, you know, below the poverty threshold. Really, this, this tax-wise, this nation, you know, shouldn't be asking anything of anyone uh, in my economic position and those who are less fortunate than I as well, uh, and yet it's still there. And you can, like, bring it to a zero, but the amount of, like, jumping through hoops and paperwork and phone calls and caseworkers and, and things that you have to do in order to make that happen, they've set up all these systems to make it incredibly difficult uh, to do. So it's not really so much help for those who need it as it is help for those who have, uh, you know, a staff of people to spend time making sure that, you know, like working on actually getting you the help. Uh, which, you know, ostensibly just turns into our tax policy is built for corporations and fuck the people. And should we be, <clears throat> should we be surprised by that at all, uh, considering who's running the Senate these days? You may still be able to put in your bank info on the IRS site, but it might be uh, too late. Yeah, I looked at that a couple of weeks ago and it looked like it was too early. So if it's too late, then again, fuck the American people, right? Um, because it looked like it was too early. They had a link, but the link said, use this if you didn't file taxes or something, something. But I did file taxes. It doesn't apply to me. And it felt like, okay, I'm going to give them a minute to just realize that there are situations in which individuals always pay in, never get anything out, and set that up. And I think they did. If it's already too late now, then that was a window of about three weeks. And that's fucked up. In any case, if they just send me the check by mail eventually, then, you know, that'll be, that'll be just fine, because, uh, you know, I'm out here making it, um, thanks to y'all. Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but have you ever considered a job, says Anthony? <laughs> um, at this point, I, uh, I am doing little piecemeal work here and there, um, you know, web support kind of stuff, but at this point, uh, Due to my uh, health condition, uh, which I'm calling because we don't have a health system in America, so um, I self-diagnosed myalgic encephalomyelitis, um, I can't do any physical labor anymore, which is what, you know, used to be my bread and butter. Uh, so, yeah. So now I have to use my brain, which I've been trying to avoid all of my life. Because it's dangerous, you know, there's there's things going up in here you don't you don't want to have anything to do with and now I have to use it and now it's it's on you. If I do something, it's on you. <laughs> double up, double up. Yeah. Uh, ben VOC with the subscription, thank you very much. You can still enter your bank info in the IRS site, you should definitely do that. Or who knows when you'll get a paper check, yeah, or ever. Um, so I will look into that. My father was just saying that they're talking about it again, because I went looking for it when I don't think anyone was talking about it, but I figured they'd done something and it didn't look like it was quite ready to go. Uh, so what we're gonna do for no ability here is we're gonna turn on my auto splitter, uh, running in Python currently. I've still got the, I've got live split up and the server should be connected. So let's see uh, if it does a thing by first off going to world nine. 10 and popping in and yes it's working i'm going to put the timer in the corner and then i'm going to go out to the main menu i'm going to turn the grappling hook ability on that's that's not the grappling hook but what they both look okay grappling hook ability on and then we're going to go back to 910 uh and it's going to pop in again and then i'm going to look down at a truck and then I'm going to go back out to the main menu. I'm going to turn the grappling hook back off because we're running no ability. And what that will do is leave these little dots on my screen. <laughs> because of a bug in Cluster Truck where it doesn't remove the, uh, the indication for the grappling hook if you turn it on and turn it off. And since we're in this uh, level, this, can I... Since we're in 910, I really should practice this before we get running. It's a tricky, tricky maneuver to pull off, and I didn't get enough of it right there. <clears throat> we need to warm up on the 910, the final boss skip, last level of the game. Oh, I'm too early, but I got a late jump. Ah, and then I slid right up the truck. <clears throat> yeah, you want just the right timing so you have all the time in the world to react to it. 
That's good. Perfect. Perfect. That throws us up here, and then we just climb our way to the top. Take a couple launches if we can get them. Up to you. Line up for the final throw, and then go it. And we beat the game. <clears throat> That's how we do it in a row down here at Spoil Sport Motors. Don't worry about the timer. I will shut it off eventually. You know, it's just gonna be there because the game is, uh, my auto splitter just watches the game. And sees what's going on. A little late. Worked out though. Uh, did it? Did it? It did. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That was a tight one. So it looks like I'm still, uh, good for this method. We could get here at the end of a big long, uh, big long speed run and find out I'm not, but I, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Like two out of six, that's, that's fine. That's once I'm under pressure, hopefully I'll be even better at it. Uh, ah yes, how you caught, so are you doing the grappling hook thing for proof because of how you caught the fella cheating? Yeah, uh, it's become a, a standard for, um, for the top runners just to give moderation an extra thing that they can verify or run with. <clears throat> it's nothing's guaranteed, nothing's proof positive in run moderation, but um, it's just another thing. Uh, the biggest thing, I think the most helpful thing for run moderation, I'm not a moderator, but uh, I think the most helpful thing is actually just having the game's own music playing, because, you know, when you hit the levels and go in and out, the audio volume level, you know, goes up and down, and the timing, so you can't split a run in the middle of a level uh, at all when you've got the music playing, and it makes everything a little bit harder. Um, the run you're talking about was actually able to split the game right in the middle of Worlds, which is really not, like, that's ridiculous. Like, you shouldn't be able to get away with that. Uh, but it got away with it because it, it had the music off. So it was just sound effects uh, and hitting the trucks and stuff. And so having the music on is a big one, and then the grappling hook overlay is also helpful. And just having a sense of who you can and can't trust, really, <laughs> comes into it as well. Uh, but okay, we're ready to go. Let's start warming up on no ability. Get a run started and see how fast I can uh, I can run this game. I've been doing any percent so much lately. Uh-uh-uh. I gotta be clicking those buttons a lot faster. I've been doing any percent so much lately that I don't know how it might screw up my, um, my no ability methods and what I expect to get out of these areas, because I have been anticipating having, like, levitations and, and portable trucks and things, so... We'll see. I mean, I've been practicing no ability for so long, I would expect this to be my stock standard way to go. Mostly during my any percent route, I'm having to stop myself from playing it like it's a no ability run, so... So this should be what's programmed, hardwired into my hand and whatnot. Although, right there, I almost set up for the mega jump. So, yeah. Ronan, porn hosting Dateline episode of How to Catch a Cheater. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Is this going to be about uh, about how to catch your spouse being infidelitous? Because that would get more views. All right, down to here. Ah, I missed it, so I'm just going to take a pop. Didn't have enough speed when I got down to there. One nine. Uh, why? 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 What is going on with that? What happened there? So we got... A split that we shouldn't have had in 1-4. One, 1-5, one, 1-6. What happened there? Because I have... My, my auto splitter has been solid as a fucking rock uh for months now and i've not seen that it's passing two levels every level was it 24 25 16 17 31 32 43 44 yeah what all right don't update any, any of those times just reset it um, 
Do I have <clears throat> two copies of this running or something? Like, stop you. Do I have two copies of Live Split open? That wouldn't. Would it? No. And I don't. Uh. We look at the run log, it was only following one of them. Do I have a second copy of this running somewhere or something? Uh, run. It doesn't show that there's anything extra s running in split RP. Oh, <clears throat> I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Uh, so it's because for Twitch percent, I used the, um... Craft beer six pack only pawn. No IPA. <laughs> Average Joe Tree with a ten dollar seventy five craft beer six pack. No IPA. Thank you, Average Joe. I need to get some beer in this friggin' house. It's been days now. Um, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation via Streamlabs. Uh, I will buy beer with that. Um, I know exactly what's going on here, um, because my auto splitter was not compatible with the Twitch percent because it put extra shit on at the top of the screen where we're usually looking for things, uh, with my auto splitter. So I used the built in auto splitter for, mm hmm. I didn't think that this would stay active, um, across different split files. But apparently it does, because we are running in my no-ability IGT, and, and we were running on IGT Twitch% percent no-ability. I had a different split file, but apparently just for the game it stays active. So we need to deactivate that because my splitter was doing its job perfectly, and this splitter was doing what it is supposed to do perfectly as well, apparently. So um, that's why we were getting double times out of there. So I deactivate that, and then we should be good to run. Start me back up on split RP. Don't run two auto splitters at the same time, kids. I was gonna say, this better not be a problem in my auto splitter. It's been solid for months and months and months. Ah. I heard you like splits, so I put a split in your split so you could split before and after you split. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you're right, little magnets. You caught up to it before I did, didn't you? Uh, so, Back in, and now we should just have one of them going. Steel reserve only pawn. Good luck. <laughs> Steel reserve. It's cheap, and I believe it has a higher alcohol percentage than you usually get from cheap beer. Okay. Okay. Is that an upgrade? Or <laughs> it's just a whole nother steel reserve that's. Well, that I could probably get six of those just in the can from the the party store because that's uh, one of the ways that they sell steel reserve a lot steel reserve was a uh, beer that i got very familiar with when i was a uh, homeless wandering fella uh, in joplin missouri because um, the, uh, the alcoholics uh, who were in the the homeless center steel reserve was their bay you know you go down and get a steel reserve 40 uh, at the gas station, good and cheap, and that'd, uh, that'd keep you going, that'd keep you going for a bit. Uh, I remember a YouTube video, how the one dude cheated and made it hard for you to afford rent and stuff, I'm glad you made it through that. Thank you very much, command line guys, see I told you, I told you I could run this game without actually looking at the screen, <laughs> for playing no ability percent, thank you very much command line guy. Uh, yeah, the, the video that came out from Apollo Legends, uh, channel about that, uh, really, uh, helped to right the, the large wrong that was done there, uh, with the, with the huge amount of support that came out to make sure that I could, you know, afford winter and pay my bills and whatnot. So, we got through winter, although that's only a technicality because I'm in Michigan, uh, southeast Michigan, and so it's still incredibly cold out. I mean, it's just, it, it's pissing me off. I have been able to open my windows once this year, and it was like, hallelujah. I opened them up, I heard the voice of the Lord and a choir of angels singing, and the heavens parted, and it was just, it was brilliant. And then for the past two, three weeks, it's been too 
too goddamn cold to open them again. It's just made life, you know, it's still winter. My fucking furnace is, you know, I can't turn my furnace off yet, so it's still goddamn winter and late April. I'm sick of it. I'm gonna get the hell out of this state, and I can't, because we're all under fucking quarantine. <laughs> to get the hell out of this country, and I can't because we're all under fucking quarantine. All right, one six, get low, get fast, so you can make the jump from here all the way up to those. You didn't, so we'll just go and up and over, I guess. One seven, again, get low, get fast, so we can come off of the front truck here to go all the way out to you, and then all the way into the goal in one smooth motion. One eight, make sure these first couple of jumps are real short. So you can connect them, keep the speed, come down here, go out to the left, and into the goal for a 7.7. .7. That's actually a really good time. I'm gonna pop, pop here. Ah, I couldn't pop, pop. They ghost floated me. That's okay. The trucks ahead are in reasonable positions. Ah, I shouldn't have jumped. I could have gone earlier if I didn't jump. It's fine. We're into 110. I just gotta get a little bit fortunate to get down here with some speed, not have anything get in my way, and move out. We're into 2-1. All right, and the auto splitter is functioning as we expect it to. I'm gonna stop here for a second. Gives me a... Shit. All right, get back up there. Gives me a better chance when I stop there that once I get up to the front truck, I can just go, keep the speed, and go straight into goal like that for a slightly better time when I can get it. Oh, yep. Okay, any percent is screwing me up now because I just went into that with the any percent method. Yeah. Ah, we're in. It's really close to not being in. Turtles are underrated when it comes to racism. <laughs> are you racing turtles? Is that what the is that what you say? Ha 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 ha. Okay, I've messed this level up a bit. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're in. And then into two five. Gotta get that speed, keep that speed, get up to the front where the log comes into play. Get over the log, touchdown on you, find a truck, go to goal. We're in. 2-6, uh, oof. Yeah, that really screwed me up the any percent. Oh, I'm going straight to goal on this shit. This is faster than a lot of the any percent right there doing that. If you can get it, it's not easy to get. <laughs> Took me a long time practicing to be able to pull that off with any amount of consistency. Okay, I need you to go forward, get your nose up, get your nose- oh, shit. I have to ride you all the way in? No, I can get there now. Alright, 2-8. I'm gonna get going real fast. With some ghost hops. I'm gonna slow down here. I need to come off of you with some- Oh. I knew I was going early. Again, I think I'm gonna blame any percent for messing me up with that. Because uh, if I had a little levitation, we would have been fine. There we go. We're in here. And then 2-9. Pop, pop. Get the speed. Go like a bastard right past PB Boulder. Hello, PB Boulder. Thank you for the blessing on this run. Yep. Got it. We're in there with a 15-0. Gonna go under this log. Nose grind you up to here. Get a big jump from you if I can. That'll do. It's enough. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, shit. I don't think I make it. I jumped too early. Again, any percent fucking me up. Let's try that again. Out to you. To you. To you. And that's, that's in. I got that edge boost. We're still not far behind PB. So we carry on with this run. Uh, I remember this run in PB being actually pretty reasonable, too. Like, up front, the last run just made it look like I had no chance whatsoever. Because it was so good, you know, at the beginning. This run, uh, is... It takes the deaths sort of throughout it. So the times we're running against are more reasonable. I don't have to be in the red the entire time to have a chance right at the end. Okay, we're gonna skip this entire level, and then right strafe back in, catch you, turn around, go into the goal. And now, 3-5 first try. 3-5 first try, yes, got it. 3-6, we got some speed, we're moving through Winter World nicely. 3-7 tries to kick me off, but I'm ready for it. 
I'm gonna get onto the right trucks, come up to you. I'm gonna stop for a moment. I need speed if I'm gonna do this. I got it. I got it. 3-8. Now, Mega Jump out of here did not get the Mega Jump. So now I'm looking for a little, little luck, little love. Thank you for the love. Reset 3-9 as we come into it. Get up to you. Yeah. Just enough to get part of what I want. Wow, I almost caught my toes on that one. And into 310. Uh oh. Nope, we good. We good. We good. Are we good? We good. Alright. Oof. Yeah, get quiet on 310. It's a run killer. It's very difficult level. Okay, I thought that laser would be coming through a little bit faster. Made it out of 4-1 without a death. 4-2. Okay. Long. Alright, good. I've already fucked it up. So I don't have to try for it. Long. Short. Long. Short. No! Just stay alive and put it in the goal pond. 4-3 now. Gonna go under. Yep, any percent messing me up here. Any percent messing me up there. What I think I can get away with, but I need a little bit of lev boost for. Teen one. Stew you. One more touchdown, then we can go straight to goal. With an 8 7. And we're in. And we're in. Uh, LMAO Ronan Pawn sounds so familiar. LMAO. Hmm? Hmm? Is it because I say the same things every time I run the damn game? What, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that's very high. Too high, really. For my preference, anyway. Alright, 4-7, another run killer level, but uh, I think with our routing we have defeated this as a run killer level. Generally speaking, yeah, Because uh, you can do a lot of different things here to just get past this, this laser grid. 4-8. One gives me a lot of problems for really stupid reasons. Stop here, then go up and over, go up and over, go up and over, go under and out. Thank you. 4-9, we're gonna go for the big mega jump if I can get it. I did not get it. Oh, shit. Oh! Yeah, I don't know where I am if I can't get back there. It was the perfect kind of almost a mega jump to make me think I had it. Okay, get up here. Go. Go. Both of those were the perfect kind of mega jump to make me think I had it. Mm. Pop. Okay. Not quite what I'm looking for, but it will work. Yes. Down to 5 1, we need a lot of speed coming out of here. Uh oh. Okay, I can't get the speed because of that, so I'm gonna have to try what I just tried and came in with. 5 2. I'm not gonna go for it. Ah, you went for that though, didn't you? Yep. 5-3. Good. 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 5-4. I want to land the top of you and be able to run and keep speed. I didn't quite pull that off, but that guy being right there, oh, it's helpful. 5-5. Five, five. Uh, mega jump on. Okay. Give me something to stay alive on. Uh... That'll do. Five, six. Mega jump me. Big one. Ooh. Nope. Not big enough. Also not big enough. But I might be able to get past it like that. Yes. Five, seven. Gonna try for the up and over. Think I got it. I did. <laughs> Can't blame any percent on that one. Alright, just take it normal. Uh-oh. Wow, that was close to not connecting. Um, 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 okay. I guess this is what we're doing then. You guys set the rules, I didn't. I'm just gonna skip all your trucks in your level. 5-8, need a mega jump from here. Uh, all right, you want to do it again? We'll do it again. 
It's not the fastest way, but it is one of the safe ways to do it. Five nine. I need a mega jump from up here. Okay, that wasn't a mega jump, but it was enough of a jump. And five ten. Whoa! No trucks ahead. That's why you take it a little bit slower through there than you possibly could. Is to know what's coming once you get here. Thank you. Good timing on that popper, too. We are holding with PB. Now, 6 1. Do I go for it? I never go for this one. Because it's nasty. It's hard to get. I've gone for it. And I got it. And I got it. Oh, that is a three, four second time save. And it, it takes an incredible amount of futzing to make happen. Okay, be careful here, Pong, because you got that time save. Don't throw it away. Whew, 6-3. The middle truck. Pause for a moment and take a nice little mega jump to goal. It was good and flat, which makes it good and fast. 6-4. Get the waterfall of trucks. I lost my speed there to a sock catch. It's okay. Let's get out the left side, come back on the right. Can I get through here with enough speed? No. So I'm gonna touch down on you, take a pop, touch down on you, and go to goal for the safety. 6-6. Six, six. Again, can I get through here with the speed? No. I could have skipped that clap right there if I would have come in with speed. I wouldn't have to wait for the clapper on the right. And we're in here. Six, seven. We'll rub off of you, get me to the outside, fall me fast. Okay, stop falling me fast, because this is no ability, Juan. You can't fall too fast. Six, eight. Boy, I like this so much more in any percent, this level. Thank you. And out. And 6-9. Gonna take three jumps from here and then jump out to the left. Gonna take two jumps from here for safety and then jump out to the left. We're gonna catch the goal as we fall past it. 6-10. Hmm. Hmm. Got it. Okay. Into sci-fi. Ahead. Ahead. Okay, good throw. Gonna turn in as we fall. Gonna get on the space bar. Control my speed and loft to hit that as we come in. I've gone to entirely the wrong truck. Any percent just screwed me up pretty bad right there. I just couldn't remember where I was supposed to go. Panicked and went in any direction. 7-3. Just get to the front, stop, fall, connect with the back of you, and we're going to try and diagonal. I had too much velocity. I don't know where I got it from, but I had way too much velocity. Okay, diagonal, diagonal, cross, one more to the front truck, and then in. 7-4 now. Let's get lucky. Whoo! Not lucky. Not lucky. Opposite of lucky. Um, not sure if I should just reset that, because now we're behind the missiles and we have to deal with them. Come on. Come on. Get me in. Get me in. Oof. Okay. It was the right choice not to reset. We want to mega jump from here. Avoid the missiles and also see what you can still land on, what exists after the RNG has its way with this level. I'm going to try to land you. I don't have the speed for it. I'm not going to go. I'm going to stop. Because you can make the fall right here in one fell swoop if you get lucky. Well, if you get fast. And sometimes that comes down to luck on that level. 7-6. Touchdown off of you. Did not make it to where I want to be, which means i got to worry about whether or not that truck's going to hit the curb. He didn't, but... I just didn't deal with them. Out to you. Some extra speed. Right, and then start left strafing back with this fall. 
real close to this building. It's got big hitbox around it, too. Be careful with that, kid. 7-7 seven, seven now. Going to get hit from underneath there. See if we can't get a little bit extra height. We did. It means that I can go straight over the front lip. If you don't get the extra height from that jump, then you got to go out to the left. You can go out to either side, but for me, it's going to be the left. From here, I'm going to get on the space bar, start feeding it in, because any percent has messed me up a little bit. 7-8 now. Bop! Longest level in the game. All we got to do is survive to the end, and then hit one mega jump. Because it's gated. I have a chance to adjust my hand, too, here. Okay. Ooh, theoretically, if you were somehow able to beat the any percent world record while doing no ability, would it count for both? Yes. Yes, I mean, I could submit it to both, absolutely. Okay. Mm, just land you. And then this is the jump. That's the one. Just saves, well, two seconds. So it's not, not worth it. And then 7-9. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to go for a mega jump. Followed by a pause boost if I could get it. I didn't, so here we are, and this is what we're doing now. Where are you? Thank you. Ooh, that's a nasty run killer of a level right there. We got through it in one pass. 710. Up, pop. We probably lose time though. All skill, no luck. KCUL on Licks LLA, KCUL on Licks LLA, KCUL on Licks LLA, KCUL on Licks LLA, mind blown. Uh, K KCU. Ah, fuck. That was, that was luck. Backwards. Uh, uh, my mind is blown by the fact that I'm dead on 8-1. Oh, God, don't do this. They're rubbing. Okay, go. Fucking catch the back of him. God damn it, this fucking level. I hate 8-1 for its bullshit. It's got like 18 little minutia ways to fuck you over. Don't rub to the right. Go. It's a simple level, and I hate the design of it. Okay, we're in. Turn around. Turn all the way around. Three now. Over. Very difficult level, this. Let's see if we can't get it first pass. Mm hmm. Down to you. Through the hole. Up to you. Pause. And then a little dig there and in. We did it. 8 4. I'm going to reset as I come in. I'm going to avoid the truck that was coming to the left. Ugh! Uh oh. Definitely not where I want to be right now. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Made it out in one pass of 8-4. It's another run killer RNG nightmare. Up to you. Pause for a second. Go. Hopefully I got the speed to get straight to goal now. I did. 8-6. Jump it. Wait, no, no, no. Sit it. Pop it. Big pop! And off of you. Get some speed, get some speed, straight to goal. Okay, 8-7 now. I almost turned around. That's how much any percent has messed with my head for this. Okay. Wait until we're not changing levels. This will do me. Can't get to the front truck, so I'm gonna try one of you. I picked the wrong one. I'm gonna land you. There could be no right one, incidentally, in case you're curious. And get to the trucks that are side by side. And I'm gonna jump along them, get out to these guys, jump from you, hold the space bar as we fall so that we parachute in a little bit, land this guy, jump to the front truck if he's still alive, and then we'll go from here all the way out to you two, and then straight to the front truck, ride him in as soon as we pass that that gap there, we can jump it. I'm gonna reset 8-8, I don't know why, but I did. Got it. All right. Eight, ten. We've been counting these one off. You've been doing that a lot lately, Paul. Well, maths, man. Counting? Who can do that stuff? 
with the counting and whatnot. Up to you, up to you. A little bit late on that. Pop just over you. Wait to make sure both of these get under those pipes, because they can get stuck on them. Throw me to goal, and we're into hell. Reset. And go. Shit! I messed it up. Just trying to get the speed. Five seconds behind. Okay. Nine two. Uh, I need a little bit, little bit more from you there. Okay. Backed it up. Backed it up to something that I can still get in with a 14 second time. Nine three. Uh, we're good there. Oh, we're not good there. It was a close one. Where are you going? Uh, okay. Gonna need a truck that actually goes to goal. Thank you. Wow, we are so close to quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it. Get me a little bit closer, we're in. Reset 9-4. And let's go. Okay. Nine five. One, two, three delaying jumps. And we go. Shit, how the fuck did I not land that? Get in before the shit comes for you. Nine six. Just gotta climb this hill. Good throw. Land this guy. Try and keep the speed as you do. For a sub-17 time, and 9-7, worst level in the game. Uh. Uh. You got anything coming over the hill? Hmm, I'm losing too much time now. We're gonna have to deal with the lava at the end, the way this is going. Please go, please go, please go, please go. That's 9-7 out of the way. 9-8. One is rolling hard. You, ooh, that one's rolling hard too. Up to you, out, come back, out, in. All right, nine, nine. Damn it. Didn't get the speed. Not gonna have the height either. All right, just put it in, Juan. Walk it in. Walk it in now. Okay, we're in. And in 9, 10, need this first try. Got it. All right, still not done yet. Go it. Shit! Shit! So close! So close! God damn. That was a hell of a run, though. That was one hell of a fucking run. Hmm. Ah. Whew. Little Magnets, gifting three subs. Welcome Magic Jern, Dr. Lampa, and Ignited TNT 550 to the Big Dick Club. To the 2345 second plug. Three seconds over PV. Damn. That was so close. Thank God I don't need to any update the any PVs. <laughs> gonna... Oh man, we ran right with that fucking PV all the way to the end, and that, that. That, my friends, was a deathless World 9, wasn't it? I don't think I died at all in hell. That was, that was a brilliant run. Two seconds faster? Two seconds faster than our PB, uh... Yeah, two seconds faster through hell than our PB was, but we just didn't, uh... Didn't have a way to... That doesn't make any sense. Compare against... We are comparing against personal bests. Yeah. Or two seconds faster, how do we come out three seconds over? I don't get it. 
we came in seven seconds minus the two seconds we saved. This should be five seconds, not three. I do not get that. Um, Ape One seems like a good time for a break and a raffle open cluster truck giveaway. You think you think we should give away? A, I didn't advertise. I didn't put it in the stream title like I usually do if we're going to do that. Um, oh, that was a really nice run. How how long were we actually ahead of time? So we were ahead of time all through World 7, and we got ahead of time in World 6. Uh, and we're in and out through World 5 and World 2. Okay, but we hung with PB so well here, right against that third place run. That was a hell of a run. I can't believe I'm coming through World 9 deathless like that. It's going to make it really hard. Like, I have to save time in the early game to try and beat this PB. Otherwise, like, I have to get a um, a deathless World 9. You know, if we come into World 9 as close as we are here, it's down to whether or not I come through deathless. A fine bottle of barrel-aged stout this time. Get used to the good stuff. You earn it. <laughs> Thank you, Average Joe, with the $15 uh, Streamlabs donation. Those are the ones that, by the way, I mean, hey, we got sub-challenges. I, I like, there's benefits to everything, but the Streamlabs ones are the ones where basically that's all my money. You know, like, nobody gets a cut off of that, really. Thank you very much, Average Joe, and thank you, Little Magnets, for the three subs. Who was it during, um... Turtles are underrated when it comes to racism, <laughs> was Average Joe again. Oh. Oh. Man, that was, yeah, that that took a lot out of me, is what that did. It took a lot out of me. Um, woo. Should we, should we do, uh, you know, as close as we were, it's worth celebrating. I think, yeah, we can do a raffle. We can do a raffle here. Um, we won't, might not do one all day long, but we're going to do a raffle over the live stream break, because I definitely need a live stream break after coming that close to PB. How much easier would Cluster Truck be to run if there wasn't RNG involved? Uh, would be, uh... All right, so no ability would be a... 19 minute game would be my guess if there weren't RNG involved. Uh, could probably go sub 19, but human realistic, if, if it were the same every time, it would probably be around a 19 minute game. Uh, whereas right now, let's go and check out the leaderboards because uh, let's see what the fastest person in the world has ever done uh, in no ability uh, is a just under 22 minute game right now so there's three minutes to be saved by getting the best rn well and that's not just the best rng but if you could get all of the best rng uh we have looked at i have a, a spreadsheet that i made of my best times ever and it was down to uh 19 and some minutes uh, for my best times ever on each individual level, and it's been ages since then. We've made the game a lot faster since then. So the, like, sum of best per level, the fastest you can possibly go, is probably going to be in no ability percent, 18 minutes or sub-18, like 17 or 18 minutes. If you got every method perfectly, and the only way you'd get that would be if there were no RNG. Um. <clears throat> oh. Uh, also there would be a TAS out. That would be a good idea, yeah, if if we had RNG. I think you could still do a, a TAS for some of the levels, and some of the levels you could build a TAS that's smart enough, especially, like, integrating with my code for this auto-splitter. You could build a TAS that's smart enough to, um, to be able to, like, scan the screen at certain moments in the level that are very decisive moments of, like, is this level going to do this, or is it going to do that, or is it going to do this, and at least have, you know a chance for the computer to pick uh, a good pre-programmed path through. Um, I think you could get away with that. Um, in term, there, there are certain levels that I just don't think you could do at all, though. 9-4? Uh, there's no. Uh, you know, the, the spinning, the trucks are just so chaotic there, there's no pattern to it. 9-7? Or no, 8-9. Eight, 8-9, eight, nine. Eight, nine, nine, seven. Yeah, there's some levels that just couldn't be tasked, but there are some levels that that you could task without even having to do anything with screen scraping, you know, you could, without monitoring the screen, you could just do them, because they're so consistent and so stable. 
It's an interesting idea. RNG sucks. RNG makes it fun. You're both right. <laughs> Who got their peanut butter in my chocolate? Who put chocolate in my peanut butter? <laughs> no. When you get mad because of RNG, stop talking. That's, that's, I, I never stop talking. I just keep shouting. Uh, we're going to take a live stream break. And um, Kenneth, do you want to open the raffle? Uh, did you already open the raffle? Feel free to open a raffle, uh, Kenneth. We're going to go to live stream break. We're going to open a raffle to uh, to give away a free copy of Cluster Truck today. What the hell? We did we gave away three of them last stream. We'll give away one right now. Uh, I cannot open raffle. Oh, you can't? Okay. Raffle open uh, free steam Cluster Truck key. Susan is watching. Donate via Streamlab to rise against the YouTube algorithm. Sharing is for creators. <laughs> Average show, you're not wrong. Susan Wachowski, which I don't know how to I never learned how to say her name. Wachowski? It sounds about right. Yeah, it sounds plausible, right? Susan Wachowski, she is watching. She's she's not watching. She, she doesn't tune in. She doesn't watch YouTube. She's, she's big Netflix. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to take this seven minute break. Thank you again, average show. My God, that's got to be like, it's you're getting toward $50. If you haven't already given me $50, it's, it's got to be something like that. Thank you so much, average show. Live stream break right now, seven minutes, just enough time to pee, you know, feed the cats, um, question your, your life choices. Take a few shots about the girl that you could have married but you said the wrong thing at the wrong moment we'll be back in seven minutes don't go anywhere pawn not out
Hello, I am the Ronin Bourne, and welcome back to twitch.tv slash Ronin Pawn live stream on twitch.tv slash Ronin Pawn. We've got a raffle open to give away free Steam key to Cluster Truck. Uh, as is being said now in chat, if you haven't already gotten your tickets, to uh, exclamation point tickets buy, and then the max number 20, if we don't have enough points, then we can make it rain on everybody. Because we don't care. Make it rain. It's a uh, hundred. Oh, um, that user doesn't exist. Oh, Jack RPGs, you're not in the, uh, the bot hasn't recognized you're here yet. Uh, because you just showed up, by the way, hi. Um, so it's going to take a minute for it to, uh, to recognize that. And then once it does, if we make it rain, it will put some points into your account that you can spend in the raffle. Uh, but so that being the case, ah, we had a really good run just now. We came in with, uh, see my PB right there, 2342. We came with a 2345. That's how close I was to PB on that one. But... We've got third rank, what we need is second rank, and that means taking off about 40 seconds. So I need to be going considerably faster than that, but it would have been nice to have a PB anyway, and that's an incredibly good run. I mean, that's it's a third rank run. Uh, fourth, technically, because you'd have to beat me. <laughs> I'd have to beat me. Uh, hang on. With the, with the, no. Strip club mentality activated. <laughs> Alright, uh, so what are we doing? I don't know. We can just keep a run and wait a second, 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 wait a second. Um, are you yeah, you're properly reset from the last run. Why would why would I question that? My systems work most of the time. Some of as long as everything's, you know, in place with the duct tape and and the bubble gum and toothpicks and stuff, then the bomb will go off. It's gonna happen. I I need to like get my 1-1 one, one back so that I can come in with that 6.3 and that that wasn't it but you know balls to it oh you know what we could have done oh I can't believe I forgot to do it we could have checked uh, to see what that three seconds slower run was IGT it might have been faster by IGT it could have been it could have been faster by uh, by the other method of timing instead of RTA it could have been you know a new PB by IGT and I didn't flip over, so I don't know. Wait, bombs? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't. I, I just learned some something from MacGyver. Um, but it's cool. Ah, uh, uh, what are you guys doing, man? I just, I, I didn't even want to do a good run today. I went and got, like, a good run of cluster truck in on no ability percent. I wanted to be just, like, running casually. There's a 6.5. See, I can go fast. Um, I want to be, and I, I can go fast. I choose not to, as, as you can see happening now. Um, I want to just, like, chat and stuff. And I don't know what to chat about, you know? Mandalorian, watching that, it's good. Uh, you know, I saw Endgame, it's good. I think my favorite out of everything that I just saw, though, was, uh, was Captain Marvel. Uh, out of all the Marvel movies that I just, you know, consumed as though I'm locked in the house for some reason or something. I mean, here's the thing is, I've been locked in the house for a lot longer than this has been going. <laughs> get, get low, made it. I meant donation trained people. Pawn needs alcoholic fluid. <laughs> Thank you, average show. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I can still, I know, I, there are many ways. There are many ways to play this game to get her done. But yeah, Captain Marvel, if you haven't seen that one, that was that was my favorite. That was my favorite out of all of them. I just watched uh, Guardians 1 and 2. Um, you know, the, the both of the big important, like, end the series Avengers movies, Iron Man 3. Uh. Challenge runs, you can only do certain tactics on certain levels to make it more difficult. We could do something like that. I'll tell you what we could do, actually, is we could go ahead and draw that raffle, because it surely has been enough time. Um, have we... Is Jack, have you got it? Why Why is it so entertaining watching a man blabble about playing a game I didn't even know is beyond me? Because, um, you know... Because... I'm putting things in the drinking water. Mr. Joe, does this count as a donation? 
I should think it does. I should think it does. I also get all of the bits in the form of currency. Um, however, you do pay more for them. <laughs> but yes, absolutely. I am not telling anybody to do anything in any certain place uh, because the subs, everything uh, counts and everything has a, has a different value to it. Um, so, mm -hmm. so I've made it rain 100 to everybody who's here. That should, you know, give everybody the points that they need if they didn't already get them because I haven't been watching. Maybe Kenneth already did this. Um, tickets by negative, that is not a valid number. Quit trying to break the bot. Well, we've got a raffle open, Kenneth. This is my moderator. This is what he likes to do. <laughs> Could've got free points. <laughs> if you could trade in tickets for points, it's, there's an idea there. Uh, let's see if, if the next tickets by actually happens. The bot is a little bit overwhelmed. Um, tickets by, uh, you missed the plural on that, L Wolf. Uh, I'll carry on then. I'll carry on for a bit. Now that we've got the the rain and we've made it go. Free copy of Cluster Truck, the first lucky winner. Um, but yeah, I Captain Marvel was really good. Really enjoyed that. I mean, I really liked Guardians. Guardians would be they're they're nearly tied, but I think retrospectively, I liked Captain Marvel more. I, I think because I didn't expect it. I didn't see it coming. You know, everybody said Guardians was gonna be you know really really good, and it was. Um, and I know that there was a lot of good, you know, talk about Captain Marvel, too, but it wasn't on the level of hype that Guardians had, and, um, and it was as good and better. Um, well, it was as good, anyway, I don't know, that's a hard call to make. Um, but yeah, Iron Man 3, I gotta say, it's just another Iron Man movie. Like, the, the first Iron Man was pretty friggin' awesome, uh, when it came out, when I first saw it, and... Since then, it's just it fallen into the category of an Iron Man movie. Um, and it doesn't really register, and the Iron Man movies don't really register for me either. They're, they're you know, I think we can all agree Iron Man 2 was a, eh, that's fine, kind of a thing. Uh, Iron Man 3, uh, they said it was a lot darker, and it was going to get dark and stuff like that, and I just felt like... Again, suffering from the hype because I thought that they were going to get properly dark and I was all over that, you know, definitely something that, that ought to be uh, part of Tony Stark's character is to deal with some really dark shit. And they more intimated at it than they actually got down in the fucking trenches of it and went hard at it, you know, their, their version of panic attack PTSD stuff was pretty fucking lightweight if, if I... Uh, if I do say so myself, so it just didn't resonate as hard for me as as I sort of expected it. Because people did say Iron Man 3, ooh, Iron Man 3, there's another good one. And I was like, yeah, when I saw it. Uh, what was the other one that really was a, yeah, and I didn't expect it to be? Guardians 2 was kind of a, eh, yeah. Like I said uh, before, it, shit, it had a, you should keep running this one, Paul. okay. Um, it had a good punch up front, or I mean, it ended well. Alright, i have thrown it away. It ended well. Um, so it had a punch at the end, but it really, did anybody else feel like it was sort of a script written for television? Because, uh, like, there, there wasn't a lot of subversion of expectation in that, uh, and like, even the 3D design of, of you know, with a given certain planets, let's say, without giving anything away. For people who haven't seen it might want to, because it took me a good long time, so. Um, the, the 3D graphic design was just like, yep, that's precisely what you'd do with that, you know? And I, just, I saw all of the gears turning all of the time, and it didn't feel like they were trying to hide them at all, which is better. If you're gonna let me see the gears turning, just go ahead and let me see the gears turning. Don't pretend like you're keeping a secret from me when you're not. Uh, so I appreciate that, but at the same time it was... And the thing with Rocket was just kind of also lightweight. It felt like a movie that they, they needed another half hour or so uh, worth of content to really do all of the things that they had set out to do. And even then, like, the plot line is just... It's very... I w you know, I would have loved it in Star Trek The Next Generation, but this is fucking, you know... Marvel Gal Guardians movie. It's, um, <laughs> it's been done, you know? Uh, just didn't, didn't really resonate for me. Uh, opinion on Shazam. I enjoyed Shazam. Shazam was good and fun. 
Shazam was good. In, Shazam. It was the, that's the one where he's a kid and then he's a super. Yeah, that was good and fun. And it was, you know, it was enjoyable. Um, really think about it that much after I saw it, but it was a good, fun, enjoyable movie. And that's really what it should have been, I suppose, you know, um, supposed to be kid friendly. And it was, uh, let's see. So mm -mm -mm, we're going to do this raffle now. Uh, I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it. You buying 7.0. You can only buy zero more tickets, which is why I'm closing the raffle. The raffle is now closed, and we, together, here and now, are about to find out, uh, with the, in the drum roll, who is our winner for the day of a free Steam Gear Cluster Truck? That winner is Jack RPGs! Wow, that's actually, because we slowed down and we made sure that you got tickets in this raffle. And you won. Wow. Good. See? Sometimes, you know, what you want to do is not rush to immediately open the country. You know, but actually take your time, make sure that things are in position, maybe have a fucking plan. Uh, you know, these are the kind of things that you want to do so that Jack RPGs has a chance to win a free cluster truck key and grandma doesn't have to fucking die. You know, these are, these are just some things that you might want to think about before you uh, just go, hey, I'm sick of it. Um, <laughs> um, be sure to send a whisper to Pawn. That's right. That's the thing that I always say. Whisper me now, Jack. Whisper me now uh, here over Twitch because that's how I'm going to be sending the key to you is after the live stream is done or if I forget because I do that quite often. It will be tomorrow when I wake up and go, oh, yeah. Um, but I will intend to send you that Steam key via whisper here on Twitch and you will make my life easier if I've just got you a whisper from you. Uh, sitting there waiting for me to confirm, ah, this is indeed the correct account. I need a haircut. Pawn, oh, sick name, dude. Well, you know, if you think that your your haircut is worth, you know, my death, then then feel free, I suppose. <laughs> You're about the latest. I mean, I'm sure. Oh God, who even wants to talk about this shit? But the blood clotting and things like there's there's a part of me that goes good good get all the young healthy people out there to recognize that hey it's not just about you know like maybe it'll hit you too maybe you already had it maybe you should still be fucking worried about it you know um is with the blood clot thing for people who have had it and didn't necessarily even show that they had signs of infection and then it comes back and then you get a blood clot and then there's an embolism and then you're fucking dead so, hey, another reason for people to take seriously what too many people, uh, you know, haven't or don't or, you know, would prefer if it were some kind of governmental conspiracy or, you know, one political party trying to get a, a, a foot up in the upcoming election. 200,000 some dead so far, but, you know, let's keep it political, everybody. Um, you know, it's just... I, I subscribed to and have subscribed to Viheart for quite a while on uh, YouTube. Uh, Viheart Mathematician uh, does videos, uh, you know, about like, finds like really cute and, and fun and interesting ways to, you know, bring up Euclidean geometry and, and things like that. Finds very interesting ways drawn in her notebook usually to, uh, to display, to just talk about math and stuff like that. And I have subscribed for a very long time. She recently published a video, just like her last video, if you went and looked her up on YouTube right now, I'm sure, uh, would be uh, that she participated in a think tank of people from all sides of all the aisles uh, coming together to think critically and rationally and intelligently about what we do f from here and how we go forward in terms of, okay, we we seem to have actually accomplished what we set out to do here. The curve is, is you know, starting to trend flatter. Uh, so how do we actually reopen the country without just going, okay, things seem to be, we got like one hand on the fucking reins and the bridle now, so, you know, give me it. <laughs> This is, how I've, this is how I pictured it in my head, okay? This is what people want to do right now. You know, we've been sitting on this bull just, ah, and then we're, we've been reaching for the reins the whole fucking time. We got one hand on the reins. It's like, ha, I got it. I got one hand on the reins. High five. Oh, shit. You know, maybe instead 
We've taken our hand, one hand, off of one side of the reins. Maybe what we should do is try and get the other hand on the other side of the reins and actually get it under control as opposed to celebrating that we kind of have almost something with a good old high five. You fucking idiots. Um. <laughs> why would anyone have an opinion on that? <laughs> what is your opinion on non-Newtonian fluids? Yeah, why would anyone have it? <laughs> Sounds like some some quantum stuff. I'm always interested in quantum, but I know nothing, you know, nothing worth <laughs> anybody's time about it. I just do what everybody does with like quantum mechanics and things like that, and it's uh, you just uh, you just take them and you, you use them as ammo in whatever else it is that you already wanted to say and that you already think. Last time I looked at her channel, I wasn't old enough to be on Twitch. Says <laughs> Sea Glass Shadows. She has definitely slowed down in her output of videos uh, for a good long time, but I'm still subbed and she still makes a good video. And this one was a roadmap to reopening uh, that was, you know, involved all kinds of people. She describes it in the video as people who in any other circumstance wouldn't even be in the same room. They are so vehemently opposed to each other's, you know, politics and ideas and stuff like that came together to work on this and, you know, libertarians and socialists uh, to sit down at the same table and decide, okay, what what should we do now? And how do we actually reopen this country without just being stupid about it? And came up with a phased plan that could have us fully reopened in a matter of like two to four months. Pretty, pretty cool like idea. Now it's gonna cost money. It's gonna cost money and the reason it's gonna cost money is because step one of the plan is support everyone who hasn't gotten the support that they need now that they've been doing the work of keeping us all, you know, afloat, and they've been doing it, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, yeah. They've been doing it without all of the things that they actually need, as the wheels of, you know, commerce, government, and everything just slowly move, you know, because people are still sitting around trying to debate whether or not, uh, well, is this gonna work out well for my campaign in, in fucking November? Uh, the election cycle, you know, how does this make us look? Uh, what should we be saying in order to best, you know, pander to the demographic as opposed to, hey, 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 I don't know if you've noticed or not, but uh, uh, fucking global pandemic. Uh, maybe, maybe shut the fuck up and start listening to the smart people because we know you're not them. You're not in their positions for a fucking reason, okay? You're in positions of power because you're fucking egomaniacs. So shut the fuck up for a minute and listen to the people with the fucking brains. Okay? Ones who weren't popular in high school. If you were popular in high school, shut the fuck up! This is not your field. Asshole. <laughs> but yeah, step one would be, you know, getting masks and gloves to the people who ought to have had masks and gloves all along. <laughs> and giving them the support and making sure that when people uh, are diagnosed with this and have to self-quarantine at home that they have external support during the quarantine and that they have support after the quarantine when they, they can't lose their jobs or anything while the quarantine is going on. All these, and there are pieces of this that, uh, you know, have already and are already being implemented because it's been out for a, a week or so and also because they're not, you know, you don't need geniuses to come up with this shit. So some of this stuff is already in place, but having a roadmap, a plan, and going through the motions, kind of important. Wouldn't you maybe think? Uh, have you seen the game theory that TF2 is worse than Overwatch? No, I haven't. I haven't. I stopped watching MatPat a while ago. <clears throat> I, I feel like you're trying to drag me away from controversy, and if you get me talking about MatPat, then that's not gonna happen. I have no idea what's going on, but I love these speedruns. They're so satisfying. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, so step one would be, hey, let's get the other hand on the reins here. You know, put all of the things in place that already should have been in place and give the people... I mean, just imagine, if you don't know what it's like, what it would be like, just, just try and, you know, spend a moment and think about what it has been like for the past three months. Um, you know, being someone who works in a hospital. Being you know, a medical professional in a hospital, because uh, one of my best buddies, who, uh, you know, I've talked about him a number of times because we make short films together occasionally, uh, Brandon, uh, 
was until relatively recently, um, you know, a couple of years, but used to be a uh, anesthesiologist, I believe, was basically, you know, what his role was. So he was in surgery with you when you went under, and he was the one who made sure that you came out from going under. And it's an important job, and, and there's a lot of other things that go into that too, because you're in the surgical theater, so you gotta be ready to throw a fucking hand in and help and, you know, not slow things down, not get in people's way. Um, imagine being someone who works in a hospital for the past three months, what they have had, what they haven't had, the complaints that you've heard on the news. Now imagine that's fucking you in there, and imagine that things just finally start to stop looking like a fucking war theater triage operation. And as soon as they start to get back to like, and not any sense of normalcy, but it's like, <gasps> I can breathe for a moment. The moment that you get a breath, then everybody's like, okay, looks like we got it under control. Let's just, and you're going, are you fucking kidding me? What are you trying to do to me? You know? I, I could not blame those people if uh, America or any country decides to just be like, okay, well, I guess we handled it. It's good, good enough now. I could not blame any of those people in month four of their fucking war service throughout this thing deciding, um, you know what? Fuck y'all. I'm gone. Fuck it. I'm out. I'm out. Risking my life out here for you, for you people, and this is what you're gonna do? Fuck it. I'm gone. I, I couldn't blame a, a one of them. Your hair is- I love it! Hey bro, hello, farts that smell me? <laughs> uh. <clears throat> uh, anesthesiology is what I'm going to study, Ronan. Hang on. Jefferson. Oh, I mean porn. All kidding aside. Run. Run hard run now run silent run deep. Run like Mexican water through a first time tourist. But the key word here is run. I, I I can talk or I can run. I would prefer to talk right now, but thank you for the donation. <laughs> I can jump too. I could run, 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 jump. I could be a backpack while you run. I got, you could swing on that hairy vine. There's all kinds of things we could do. But yeah, so uh, if you haven't already seen it, uh, you know, go check out Vihart's uh, video on the proposal for how to reopen the country as though we have an IQ above 60. Uh, which is not what she named it, but what she should have. Um, because it's, 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 you know, it's something. It's something other than just people saying, well, I'm frustrated with the current state of things. So, yeah, fuck it. It's been long enough. Your level of frustration and what needs done are uh, not conjoined in any way. That these are two factors that have nothing to do with one another. Just, just in case you were wondering, I saw that the truck on the right didn't have a front to it, so I knew it wasn't going to be there. So I shifted to make sure that I'd, I'd connect with the truck on the left. I'm a smarty every day. All right, world two. Let's, let's pay attention through two one two two. It's fine. I like to slow down in the middle. It's not fine. Uh, threw me off for making that turn. Get me up and over. And we're not going to slow down this time, because apparently that ain't working out for me. Stop. Look ahead. You. In. Thank you. It was close. That was close. You thought it was going to happen. I could have told you differently. Hey! God fucking damn it. Uh, watch some Kurt Scott. Kurt Scott. I, I, I never know how to say that. Um, Viz, you're a genius. That does help. It does. It does. Start a small garden to stay at home more. <sighs> that's a good, that's, that's a cool thing. That's a good thing. Um, but I, I sighed there. What are you doing, Pawn? Well, I've started out on the wrong world. Um, it's Kurtz, 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 Kurtz. I've looked it up before. I've had Google say it for me. One time when we had to talk about it, uh, when I knew we were going to talk about it anyway, on, uh, on Harv and Pawn, I, I looked it up and had it ready, you know? It's, I had Google tell me how to say it, so that I could say it right. <laughs> uh, no one knows how to pronounce the name. That's right! It's one of the mysteries of the universe they're gonna cover someday on the Kurtz channel. <laughs> 
we'll at some point cover that. I really liked their, that's what we were talking about, the Harvin Pawn show was the egg uh, cover where they did an animation based on the thing that was written by the guy and the stuff and the, you know, the egg, the, where it imagines that the nature of reality is that uh, your consciousness is that of a uh, higher life form and being than you are experiencing right now, uh, which is currently existing uh, as all beings on this planet to learn, you know, compassion, empathy, reality, what life is and isn't, and that sort of a thing. And so, you know, all of the people whom you are inhabiting, uh, they exist permanently in time, and you simply come to embody them for a, for a life, for a life's worth. And you gotta go through all of them so that you can know what the fuck you're doing. So that when you do become a big, important, you know, you actually get out of the egg and start to be a baby, a teenager, you know, that, ah ha ha, in the universe, that you'll actually know what the fuck's going on. And that's a really bad description of, of, of the egg there. And I kind of intentionally tried to make it bad because it's so close to, um, to a lot of reincarnationist and zen kind of stuff that I'm very familiar with that I, uh, but I, you know, I feel like I need to artificially put some gap in there. Because otherwise people will be like, Oh God, he's gonna go on ranting about Zen. And I have been looking for an opportunity and somebody managed to mention something that relates to it. So yes, I am. I'm gonna ramble on about Zen. <laughs> <clears throat> They've got some good videos to go uh, get an existential crisis to. The Dying Ducks helps. I, I don't know if I recall that one. Uh, in the same mystery as black holes, we will never know. Um, we, we, we can know. We can know. There's certain things that we can know. Um, I watched that vid. It's really cool. It's, it's very good. And it's very, it's like a bedtime story, a children's bedtime story version of, uh, of, you know, what, uh, Zen, Zen Buddhism, uh, at least sum up what Zen Buddhism has to say. And really, the truth is, like, all philosophies that I've encountered, um, especially spiritual and religious philosophies, it's, it's there in all of them, you know? Like, they all have just a different way of trying to express ostensibly the same fundamental observations of reality. Because make no mistake, people, if you, if you don't like religion, you know, you got good, good reasons to. Uh, and you do. You, you absolutely do. Um, but, um, make no mistake, if you're more a fan of science, that, uh, science, that, that religion was the first science. That is exactly what religion is. Uh, and spirituality more so, and spiritual practices, but, you know, religion is what formed around those practices, and those were your first scientists. They were trying desperately to understand the world and the universe in which they found themselves, before they had concepts like a universe, and they were making observations and trying to put it together and you know don't fucking be angry at the caveman for not knowing how to use a microwave okay they had their means of expressing what they were observing and sure they were flawed and things but the question to ask yourself is was the core there and uh when it comes to zen in particular i if i had a dharma uh, to teach, uh, my dharma would be the science of Zen. Um, because karma is the laws of thermodynamics and of, of New Newtonian physics and, and just all of that. That's what karma is. In the West, people have an idea about karma. Um, and perhaps in the East as well, because, you know, religion always kind of screws this stuff up and tries to make it just an easy, palatable, it'll make sense, hey, you can tell this to your kids kind of a kind of a version of things, um, but, you know, karma has no concern about right or wrong, good or evil, okay? You, karma is not, in the West I feel we have that sort of idea of karma, that it's a, um, it's a, you do good things and good things happen to you, you do bad things and bad things happen to you, okay? So, eh, uh, you know, there, there's a moat of truth in there, but you gotta start from the recognition that karma gives a shit about your ideas of good and evil, right and wrong, you know? It, it, there is no concept of what is good and what is bad to karma or to the universe, because karma is an expression of the fucking physics of reality. It is the observation and awareness 
that what goes up must come down. Damn, we were doing pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna reset that run, though. It is the observation that a rubber ball dropped bounces. It is the observation that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. It is the observation that nothing in this universe is alone or disconnected. If there's nothing you can do or can choose not to do, there is nothing... Once you exist, you're part of it. And everything you say and do and think, right down to what you think, changes the entire fucking universe. Okay? Because we're all interconnected, because those are the laws of fucking physics. I can't take a breath in this room without changing the air pressure on this planet. You understand that? You just... You got less air for a moment because of me. Now, it's micro... It's a very small amount of air, because it's in my chest right now. <laughs> okay? Just want you to be aware of the fact that your size is not how tall you are, it's not how much you weigh. Your size is most accurately measured by how many years you have been alive, because since the moment that you were alive, and we have to just artificially decide that you were alive separate from your mother at some point while you were in the womb, let's say the moment that you exited the womb and were in the world since that moment and before, but arbitrarily since that moment, you know what's been going on here? You have been emanating light. Yeah. You know those, the visors that you see in the Predator movie and stuff? They're looking at your heat signature and your infrared and tracking you, and they see you through the walls, and then they shoot you to death. Boom! Ah, it's a good action movie. Right. So what that is is light that you emanate into the universe. Do you know what speed your light travels at? I'll, I'll give you one guess. <laughs> More or less, it, your light travels at the speed of light. So the size of you is your age in light years. That is the that is the scope of your effect currently. Currently, for every passing day, your light goes a little bit further in the universe. You are a little bit bigger, your influence. You have contributed to whether or not plants grow in Alpha Centauri uh, once you're about 26 years old or something. Is Alpha Centauri the nearest? I, I never remember. Wh whatever the nearest uh, system is to ours, it could potentially... <laughs> your light is feeding the galaxy. You are part of everything. And there is no escape from that. The idea that after the Big Bang, then there were a whole bunch of things, is uh, an arbitrary conclusion drawn incorrectly on the scenario. The Big Bang, uh, I do agree, is better expressed as a sudden expansion of what is. Now, energy can neither be destroyed nor created, which means that all of that energy that you are and that everything is right now always was and always will be. You may have heard that phrase before in the Judeo-Christian spiritual texts, always was and always will be. You can also read them in your physics high school book. Because it, it can't come into being and it can't go out of being. So if all energy was in more or less one, again, arbitrary concept of a point, in space and then suddenly expanded and took on all these shapes and these forms, guess what? It's not, not that energy anymore. It has neither been added to nor diminished. You are the light of the stars that travels so far. <laughs> light of the stars that travels so far. Embark on this journey, impossible journey. If we're all alone, what's wrong with that? We've got each other, we've got each other. If there's nothing else, why is that so bad? Don't search me forever, nothing's forever now. I did that horribly, Greg, if you're here. My old, uh, one of the bands I was in, Five Years to Live, Greg Aubrey's tune. The Light of the Stars, one of our favorites to play. You are the Light of the Stars. You are the Cosmos. You are... And some people won't like to hear this, but you are... God. So much as we can define God, 
God is such a good word, you know? It's a shame that it has such these cultural connotations because, like, God is a word that doesn't necessarily have a definition, you know? And the definitions that have been given for it across the languages that use the term God have been very vague, and it's like, perfect! It's exactly what you need to do there! Yes, be fucking vague, because what you're talking about is something vague. You're talking about the all. God always was and always will be. God is omniscient and omnipresent. So God is everywhere and God is everything and God is is timeless. Okay, so you've just described the nature of all matter and energy. Well, not all matter, because that's the shape of the energy. But you've just described in less scientific terms, uh, you know, the makings of everything that we know there. That's a beautiful word. That's a good, but we can't use it because it's... it's religious connotations and so many people have used what God wants as though God wants something <laughs> God wants something really so you decided to imagine up a deity and your best idea was to create a deity that is like you in that it has desires it wants something? Does it have needs, too? Is it lonely? Tell, tell me about this this grand creator you've, you've fashioned in your head. It, it just wants your love. Why does it need my fucking love? Is it as broken as I am? I could use some love. Are you telling me that the creator is fucked up as it? Really? Well, then, wait a second. Are you telling me that I'm God? Deep think conversations, <laughs> indeed, Bender. <laughs> You know, if there's something out there to worship, let it be better than me, is just where I come from. And, uh, you know, which is why uh, Zen Buddhism uh, worked for me so well. Um, such a good, good set of teachings because, um, uh, not because Zen at all talks in these, this is my dharma, uh, that you are God, but, um, but because Zen uh, doesn't give a fuck about your gods and your ideas and all of that. Zen says, shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, and find out what you are. And by finding out what you are and who you are, and what, then you'll know what this is. Hmm? It points you in the direction of the most important discovery, which is the nature of the self. As the Chinese philosopher Unconscious once said, it is better to have loved and lost than never to have seen lost in space at all. <laughs> I haven't seen Lost in Space. Should I go see? I've got the Disney. Is that a Disney movie? It sounds like it. Oh, I'm gonna like this. Emptiness is loneliness, and loneliness is cleanliness, and cleanliness is godliness, and God is empty just like me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Emptiness is loneliness, and loneliness is cleanliness, and cleanliness is godliness, and God is empty, just like me. Uh, what was that? Uh, uh and the infinite sadness. Uh, something in the infinite sadness. That album, the two-disc album from Smashing Pumpkins. Melancholy and the infinite sadness. Yes. Yes! Oh, I'm still alive! How? We do not know. Well, we do know. Because I am eternal, immortal, always was, always will be. Just like you. J just like you. Yeah. I mean, you, in the sense that you understand you. No, you're dead. You you might as well already be dead. Like, this is just, this is destiny, fate. You, you're, you're a corpse. But if you understood what you are, in the context of, you know, in the big brain cosmos level thing, then you would also understand that, yes, you are eternal, immortal, always were, always will be, uh, can neither be destroyed nor created. You were born perfect, and nothing has changed, and nothing can change. You are exactly where you're supposed to be, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. And there's nothing you can do to stop that. You are the immortal, the eternal, the unending, because everything is. Because there's nothing special about you. Hmm? Or in other words, you are 
infinitely special. However you want to say it, you know? This is why, this is why, especially when you go listen to Zen people and whatnot, you'll hear a lot of that, um, mystery men type garbledygook, you know? Um, the, um, the, the one is the all and the all is the one kind of, <laughs> you know, the, I think I've figured out this formula. So first you say the one thing and then you say it the opposite way. Okay, yep, I got you. Is this wisdom? You'll hear a lot of that because, yeah, that, that is that is the case. You know, there there are no opposites. There are no poles. There is a circle. Shit. Um, there really isn't even a circle, but, you know, you gotta put these things out there in some... You gotta visualize them some way. Yeah! What are you doing, Juan? Well, I'm forgetting I'm locked in my any percent mode while I'm talking here. Oh, stop. Oh, fuck. Yep. We're, this run is dead for 310, but that's good, because 310 is a proper run killer. As you can see there, it took all of the trucks away. So this run is dead. We will finish it out, though, just to prove that I can do it. Just here, 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 and then we're in. And that's the end of the run. Fuck it up. Ah. Is there a raffle going? There is not a raffle going, no. We we drew it, and it is now closed uh, for the current. I'm an introvert, so I hate small talk. I love philosophical type talks. Uh, you don't, you you do not understand who it is that loves philosophic. Phil, 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 with a big, big, big brainy thingy dude. <laughs> uh, I have been, um... I still need to listen to it, my god, so I, I helped out my, um, my temple. Weird to say that you have a temple, but I do. Um, I helped out my, uh, my temple with, uh, they've been doing podcasts. Um, and I haven't actually listened to the whole thing. It's a story I've heard, uh, you know, many times before. Um, because I was a Zen Buddhist monk for, in training for three years anyway. Never got the ordination, never got the robes, but... I mean, I wore the robes. Oh, did I wear the robes? As a matter of fact, I gave a fucking uh, presentation or, or an invocation or something uh, at a at a Google conference while wearing the robes. Yeah, yeah, look that shit up. <laughs> while wearing the robes, I, I gave a what would stand in for a prayer, you know, at the beginning of a uh, of a massive Google conference in Detroit. Um, as a representative of the Detroit Senza. Um, but, uh... I've heard this story before, but I've been helping them out with the podcast thing, um... Just giving really feedback and handing along my version of it, too. Um, the senior student has been preparing podcasts, and, um... I've just been doing some audio engineering work for them and that sort of a thing, and waiting until I, uh you know, say the wrong thing at the wrong time and piss somebody off, but we'll see. <laughs> it's just me. I'm perfect. Always was, always will be. What are you gonna do? Um, but, uh, but yes, yeah, so I've been doing that, which has gotten me back, you know, closer to, uh, to those Zen roots. Uh, closer to those Zen roots and, and having, uh, you know, a relationship, uh, somewhat there, so. Doors are starting to crack. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. Ah -ha! I should have gone right, not left. But I couldn't see the one to the right. Um, but yeah, that's been very interesting. In fact, the story, let's see, what, what was the first story that my... Well, the story that my Zen Master told, I haven't listened to the whole thing. I went and did the audio engineering, uh, you know, piecemeal here and there so I could have it done. And, and hand them back something the same day that I received it. Uh, so I didn't, I actually still haven't listened to the full conversation, but uh, the story that he told was the story of, uh, Wan Hyo Sunum? Wan Hyo Sunum and the skull in the cave. You, you all know that one, right? I don't, I don't even have to tell it, right? Wan Hyo and the skull in the cave. We, we've all heard it so many times before. Um, but uh, Wan Hyo Sunum and, uh, and uh, another monk in training decide to leave where they've been training to go somewhere else, and they get uh, 
caught in a horrible storm and uh, it gets dark out and they can't see where they're going and they make their way into a cave where they're away from the storm and then uh, in the night, see, in the night, see, uh, they, they wake up thirsty, you know, they were passed out from having walked and walked and walked in days of journeying by foot, you know, Wan Hyo Sunim didn't have a beamer uh, to travel in, so Wan Hyo, if I've got the name right, Wan Hyo and, uh, and the other monk who really just should get better billing, I think, for this story, but, you know, when Wan Kyo is in the room, nobody sees anybody else. It's just, it's the way of things. But so they, they pass out, when they wake up, it's the middle of the night, it's very dark, they don't have any light, they're in a cave, and uh, they're, they're parched, they're thirsty from the travels, they wake up, they, they drink some water uh, from, a, from a, a bowl or a cup or something that they find in the cave, and they, and they drink some water, and, um, and then uh, time passes, ew, wow, wow, Pawn, I can't believe you did that while you're telling a story. Um, Time passes, the daybreak comes, they wake up, and, uh, and they're thankful to be alive and to, you know, have arched their thirst and all that sort of a stuff, and then they realize, they see, in the light, that what they had drank in from the night before was not a bowl, was not a cup, and this is not a cave. What they'd stumbled into was a grave, you know, like a mausoleum or something, you know, where you put the bodies in a cave instead of in the ground. They, they stumbled into one of those and what they drank the water from that had quenched their thirst the eve before was the skull of a man, the skull of a dead human being they had drank from, and both of them upon seeing the vessel from which they had drank the water the night before start retching, vomiting, puking. Because, my God, we drank water from the skull of a dead man. And uh, they retch and they vomit and they puke for a bit, uh, as would be expected. You know, God knows what was in that skull, along with the fact that it was a skull. God damn it, Juan, you're throwing it away. My business at least. I just planted my seeds. A beer pawn has yet to drink. For those that are cold, only goes to the bowl. A donation goes down the sink. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's Jack. Thank you, Jack. Uh, for the, I should have done the jump, but I didn't. So here we are, and if we die, then it's over. We start again. That's ridiculous. Uh, let me just look at that. That was... My business, it bleeds. I just planted my seeds. A beer pawn has yet to drink. For those that are cold, only goes to the bowl. The donation goes down the sink. Hmm. So, yes, there they are, retching and vomiting and everything. And all at once, Wanhyo has an experience. In the middle of throwing up his night's earlier dinner. Chunks flying. Wanyo has a moment of awakening and uh and he just starts laughing maniacally he stops throwing up and he just starts laughing like a madman i add that part i add that part to everything when i tell the story of like buddha i add that he was a crazy son of a bitch too he just starts laughing and uh and the other guy's still puking over there and he says stop puking after he you know contains his laughter it's like, we drank from a skull! Ah! And I think you can see where the story's going, right? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Wanyo tells the, the other monk, This water from last night saved our lives, quenched our thirst, made us feel absolutely lovely. We went back to sleep, we were fine, until we woke up this morning and saw that we drank from a skull. We felt... Just, it was a beautiful, but it, because it's in the shape of a skull, what we saw, now we've given it context. Now it was disgusting. Now it was horrible. When it happened, it was our salvation. It was our savior. It was, it was precisely what we needed. But now in retrospect, we see the shape, the form of the vessel that contained the water that we drank from, and now it's disgusting to the point that it makes us both wretched. Stop puking.
Uh, and it's said in that moment that Wan Hyo Sunim awakened and became the first uh, Korean monk uh, to have awakened. Having realized the nature of, you know, everything. In the skull, and the water, and the form of the vessel, and the retching. So... You know, it's the kind of story that, uh, if you're familiar with spiritual stories and just bedtime stories in general, then you go, oh, I see the lesson, I see the moral. But it's not really a story meant to see a lesson or see a moral. You know, the other monk standing next to Wan Hyo, when Wan Hyo explained it, did not have the experience that Wan Hyo had had. Just because he understood. And surely he understood. Understanding is lovely. Knowledge, oh, so grand. But it isn't knowing. It isn't the wisdom of experience. It's no substitute for the moment that Wan Hyo had that caused him to laugh. Like a madman, as I like to add to the story. <laughs> Um, so that's the story that my uh, Zen master told, and he told it better, because he told it from the text, <laughs> and the way it's supposed to be told. Um, but that's the long and the short, that's the short of the story uh, that my Zen master told. And what I haven't listened to is the conversation that went on between my master and the senior student after. I ran from a tiger and came to a cliff. I hung from the edge. I looked down and saw another tiger. On the ledge was a single strawberry. It was delicious. I've heard that one before. I never heard that one before. Uh, let me respond with another, okay? And this is gonna be a koan or, or a hwadu, if you're from the Korean lineage as I am. And you'll know the concept of a spiritual question is a hwadu. If you're Japanese, then it'll be a koan. Here's one, okay? See if you recognize this one. Let me know if you recognize this one, okay? Why? Why? Why are there 10 hot dogs in a pack, but only eight buns in a pack of hot dog buns? Why? Why? <laughs> it's my co -op. Have you heard that one? You heard that one? You know the spiritual wisdom of, of that, that co <laughs> There I go! I shouldn't have gone. To sell more hot dogs and buns. Mm, nope. Nope. Incorrect. Sorry. I'm sorry. But that is that is the answer I expect. That is the answer I expect. You are well on your way to spiritual enlightenment right now. Oh, can I get past it? I got past it. I got past PB Boulder. All right. I am completely. I am not with this speed run at all. I'm not paying attention to it the slightest little bit. I'm watching chat. <laughs> Literally no idea what words you are saying, but the morals and stories are nice, aren't they? Aren't they? Why are there ten hot dogs to a pack but eight buns? Hmm? Have you ever heard that co-op? I heard it in a movie, and it's actually a decent co-op. I mean, it's not really, it's not, it's not gonna fucking, it's, 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 it's a con. It has fucking, there, there is a something to it. There is something to it. And the reason why it really is a con is because it doesn't matter if you get the answer right. It doesn't matter, matter if you give the correct words. It matters if, if you've had the experience of the con. If it has reached down into the, into the cockles of your heart and your soul and changed you profoundly. The the koan of the hot dogs versus the buns. <laughs> I love that. Uh, pull in there are 10 hot dogs in the pack so that the grill master can test them. So the grill master tests two of the hot dogs so that, and, then, and then prepares the other eight for the rest? Incorrect! But I do like the, I do like the answer. 
but yeah, so you know, uh, just having this uh, minor interaction with uh, with my old temple has uh, got me, you know, back in a, a Zen place and state of mind. And honestly, um, the fucking Marvel movies and stuff had no small impact either, because the Marvel movies' uh, end game, you know, had a lot to do with time. I'm not giving anything away, but you know, time. It got me thinking about the nature of time, because. You know, it's, it's one thing, it's the same thing to say, but it feels so different. One thing to say that... Oh shit, they gave me... Ah, oh, that was one of those bullshit hops where I just had like double the, the height for because I jumped at exactly the right moment when I landed on the truck. I didn't want the height, thank you very much though. Um, what was I saying? Uh, be happy with what you get. Yes, yeah, a good movie. You've seen it, little maggots, you've seen it. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Um... God, but what was I on about before I got distracted? Uh, the moral was don't get distracted. Yeah, now I'm thinking about that, there's no way I can continue a speed run. Ooh, I got some new golds? Really? Really? Well, cancel and show me, where did I get the golds? 3-8. Yeah, because I got a little boost off of that truck as I was coming through 3-8. Yeah, 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 I remember. Alright, so... You know, it's it's not as easy to get golds in my no ability splits as anywhere else because my no ability splits have been going uh, for a while now. What was it that I was saying? Uh, oh, 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 time, time in in the in the the Marvel movies and whatnot because it's it's one thing to say you know um, I always have been and always will be uh, under the scientific understanding that you are the, a, a manifestation of form taken by the energy of the cosmos that always was and always will be. And so what you are, the substance of you, the, the component parts, the thing that actually makes this possible is immortal, undying, everlasting. It's one thing to say that, and it's another thing to acknowledge also that I am and always will be, uh, in this moment. as it relates to time, because there is this moment, and this moment is eternal. This moment always w was and always will be, even though I am now in a different moment. But that moment w was always going to be, and always shall be, and it will exist in perpetuity, eternally, everything. So now I'm off in, in La La Land, and now I'm off in La La Land, but, um, you know, I, I don't have a way to express that verbally that would make any sense at this point, but I do believe it to be true. Um, is it because we are putting the hot dogs with the buns, we assume they exist for each other? Ooh, real Hawkeye. That is an interesting way to deepen it. Um, but, no. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, there's, there's, there's an essence, there's, there's something there, deep in it. Um, because, yeah, there, there's something there to be found, but, uh, you know. God, it's gotta be so fucking frustrating for an actual Zen master. Because even if you explain exactly what you mean, or exactly what you've experienced, it does nothing. It helps nothing. You know? giving the correct answer to a question means nothing for a koan, because it's not there as a fucking quiz. We're not taking a fun little poll, you know? It's there to help you realize something. The only question I have for you, Pawn, is why you buy the footlong buns. Well, I gotta put it somewhere, and it's a little, you know... <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't do that with the food that I serve you. I don't, that's... Um, they're, cause you cut them in half and then you can do two. You, that's what I meant. You could do two cause they're, and they stick out a little bit, which is nice. Definitely not that I would lay the phallus in the, I, I've never, I've never done that while well, working at a fast food restaurant. Oh. <laughs> ah. Is Ronan Pawn the best Twitch streamer ever? Be honest to the eight ball. Outlook not so good, says Nobot. He's just being honest. He's just being honest. Uh, he buys the foot long buns because they don't make buns for little smokies. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 
We're going to take another live stream break. Uh, a good opportunity for you to perceive the nature of reality. Or just take a pee and grab a snack and meet me back here in seven minutes. Because that's I'm, I'm going to go with... I'm going to start with the peeing. Uh, probably don't have time for a snack in seven. But you do. You got enough time to grab one, for fuck's sake. So meet me back here in seven minutes and we will continue doing whatever the hell it is that we're doing right now. Because, you you know, when I'm not really speed running, you can tell, can't you? It's it's surprising that I can get all the way into, like, World 3 and have decent times. But you can kind of tell when I just... The speed run is just... It's, Backdrop so that I can talk shit. <clears throat> Back in seven minutes, don't go anywhere, Paul, not how.
I am the Ronan Bond, and welcome back to twitch.tv slash Ronan Bond livestream here on twitch.tv slash Ronan Bond. Have you perceived the Dharma of the hot dogs? <laughs> We're cluster trucking. And I am um, mildly interested if you've perceived the Dharma of the hot dog. I'll give you my hot dog answer. I'll give you. It doesn't matter. You know, the answer to the question is the same as the question, a gateway to what is real so you got the answer great you know two plus two equals four two plus two is the question four is the answer except for that two plus two is four so it's sort of the question and the answer you know every question is contains it's so having the answer gets you exactly no closer to the truth <laughs> so you're no closer to what's real um, but you can have it if you'd like, the hot dog. My answer, my verbal words answer, and it has, it's very similar to what was said in chat, and I forget by whom, and I could scroll up, but I won't. <laughs> you know, there, there are, why are there ten hot dogs in the pack, but only eight buns? And it, it has to do with, with, well, there's two extra hot dog buns, right? So, or two extra hot dogs, rather, and not enough buns to go along with it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what do you do with that? Uh, verbally, my answer starts out with that, that the hot dogs and the hot dog buns are not... What does the hot dog bun and the hot dog... What, what does the hot dog koan have to do with the, the koan of Wanhyo in the cave with the skull? That we were talking about before. If somebody just tuned into the live stream, they're like, what the fuck is going on here? One Hyo Sunim in the cave in the skull and the hot dog buns? How the fuck did we get here? Jesus, I need to rewind. <laughs> what is what is the connective tissue between Wan Hyo and the hot dogs? <laughs> I've formed a new koan from two koans. It's a super koan. It's a hybrid ultra mega koan. And it's gonna burst your fucking reality open and make you realize the nature of everything. <laughs> Wan Yo and the hot dog buns. That's what this live stream should have been named, but we didn't know that we were going there. But we could have, because all time is permanent. We were coming to this point no matter what. Hmm? It was gonna happen. And it will continue happening long after we are through it. But, 
at the moment that we began the live stream, we did not perceive that we would get to the point of Wan Hyo and the hot dog buns yet. And now we are in the moment of perception. So, what is the connective tissue between Wan Hyo, the skull, the cave, and the hot dog buns? <laughs> <laughs> God, I love these streams. <laughs> um, is the sequel trilogy good? Ask again later. Oh, God. You gotta get Nobot drunk before he gives you an answer on that one. Um, we explained earlier that the eight ball lies, right? Does it? Does it, though? I feel like this is some kind of cult chant. We're getting there. We will... We, there's... Okay, there's gonna be some Kool-Aid and a walk into the forest a little bit later, but I promise you, the pyramid spaceships will be waiting for us after we have left this this mortal coil. <laughs> they will be waiting for We're just catching a ride on a comet, everybody. So drink the arse, I mean Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid. It's gonna work out great. Uh, do you trust me? <laughs> Wanhyo in the cave recognized. You, you want to interrupt me? It take the cool it over pudding pops. <laughs> Did somebody do pudding pops for a for a ritualistic mass suicide? Did they they should if they haven't. Is that what Cosby was planning? Thank God we got him off the streets. Um, <laughs> the pudding pops. Uh, oh, this is, uh, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. In the cave, Wanyo realized that, uh, I mean, it's just, it's the retelling of the story. It's the question is the answer. What can I say more than what's been said? Wanyo, Wanyo realized that the, the water that they drank was, was a brilliant, glorious, life-saving thing. It was heaven. Until they looked and saw that the water that they drank had been drunk from a skull. And then it was hell. So where are heaven and hell? And how does that relate to the hot dogs? And your perception of the hot dogs. I ask you a question about why there's more hot dogs than there are buns. And I've framed a little trap there, haven't I? I framed you a little trap because now you're, you're looking at the fucking hot dogs and you're looking at the buns and you're saying, yeah, there's not as many buns as there are hot dogs. And I want to bum with my hot dog. Why the hell aren't there enough hot dog buns? What are they doing to me? This is a scam. This is a trick. They're trying. They're trying to get me to buy more hot dogs, more hot dog buns, because I'd have to buy like six packs or something in order for these to even out in the end, or I don't know how many you'd have to buy, but I have to, it's, it's, ne it's never gonna, you know, like I'd have to go around and around, and then I'll still have more hot dogs, uh, but then I could buy two two packs of hot dogs, and then that would add up, you know, if I had, had some more hot dogs, and then I had bought them, but that's what they're trying to do to me. I see the scam, I see your fucking world. You see the skull. and perceive hell. And you miss the water. But it should be said you can also miss the skull. The problem lie between the hot dogs and the hot dog buns. You know? <laughs> the fuck is this dharma? It's true! Problem lie between the hot dog and the hot dog buns. You perceive hot dogs and you perceive hot dog buns, and they are in disproportionate equality to your eye. And the lack of uh, proportionality is a hell! And proportionality would be a heaven! I don't want to burst your fucking bubble! There ain't no heaven! There ain't no hell! There ain't no hot dog, there ain't no hot dog fucking buns! There ain't no skull, there ain't no water! I may have overshot, but... <laughs>
may have come to the punchline on that joke a little early. But, you know, that's probably the best way, isn't it? Leave a gap or else people will think they understand, and understanding is... Uh, a boulder on the path to enlightenment. <laughs> Did you hear about the Sharkata slaughter? What? Sharkata slaughter? I feel like I might be dead and this is either heaven or hell. Yes. See, that's a good place to be! That's a good place to be! Especially when somebody suddenly shows up and tells you that there's no heaven and there's no hell. You want to know the nature of yourself? I can talk about that pretty well about the nature of the self really well. Hmm? Because what do we think of ourselves as? What, what are you? Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? You know, in your own perception, in your own mind, who are you? Most of us, I would think, are the collection of our experiences of our the places I've been the please think people the people I've met the things I've seen and done I am I am my memories I am my mind I am my opinions I am my ideas I am my thoughts conveniently all of those are stored in the brain the brain that dies oh well maybe it's less convenient now who, who the fuck are you is that it you're the collection of those things okay fair enough fair enough you're the collection of those things so Tell me the infinite things that you cannot be, because that's who you are. Describe to me all the places you can't go, won't go, wouldn't go, all the things that you can't do, won't do, wouldn't do, all of the people whom you will not sit with, all of the tea you will not take with the Zen Masters. Tell me all of the names of all of the people whom you will never know, all of the things that you will never see or experience or do because you are the sum of your events and, and your memories and your ideas and your opinions. In other words, you are a collection of locks on a cage. Because if you were that person, mm -hmm. you know, you don't dance. I always dance. You don't eat mushrooms. I love mushrooms! I would never, I always, tell me all of the things that you can't do, and I'll call them you because that's what you're telling me you are. All of the places you shan't go, all of the people you won't meet, all of the things you will not do. That's you? Okay. That's what you want to be. Reminds me of a guy I worked with. We got into an argument about how he always hits the red lights on his way to work. But the red lights aren't more frequent. They just made a greater impact on his life. You're making me think about myself, and I hate it, so it's time for it. Well, that's... Hmm, you don't know who you are. <laughs> you don't know who you are. You don't know who's thinking about yourself, the self, even. <laughs> Oh God, it's getting heavy in here, isn't it? Jesus Christ, is it, is it hot? Ah, use this, use the mouse. <laughs> getting hot in here. Even though I know I suppose it'll show all my cool and cold like cold job despite all my rage. I am still just, still a, just rat a rat in a, rat in a cage. cage. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage then. Someone will say what is lost can never be saved despite all my rage. I am still just a rat In a cage? In a cage? In a cage. You're a rat in a cage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very appropriate. Very appropriate, Jermaisian. Um... Are the cards cars Zakians gonna betray it? What? Oh, the, the Kardashians from the other planet? I heard you talking about it earlier. You, you live to be 158 or something like that. The card you're part of the Kardashians. Do you store extra life energy in the gluteal area? What, what is that about? I don't get it. <laughs> I like this stuff. This is some deep stuff. Let's transmit the message. Well, that's what every Zen master is trying to do. Anyway, really hard apparently. I never I, I never received transmission, so. Uh... <laughs> Should the Car Cartaquians be trusted? Signs point to yes. Okay, we can trust the Cartaquians. 
Um, the nature of the self. I'll tell you, you want another story? I'll tell you another Zen story. Um, okay, so this is the story of Rishim Henjinim. Uh, and, and you can say it Hengjinim, if you want to say it like it's spelled. Rishim Hengjinim. Uh, Rishim... Um... Let's see, where, where to begin this story? Rishim... ...had gone his life always feeling as though he had a hole inside. That there was just a hole in the pit of his stomach and there was something missing and it needed to be filled. And Rishim went far and wide and did many different things and learned to do many things, thinking perhaps this, this thing will be that which fills my hole, which gives me meaning, which, which makes me feel like a person and not a shell. Makes me feel complete, as I, I currently feel that I lack something. Rishim always carried these thoughts and feelings with him. And then one day, he stumbled upon... Master Falsen Sunim. Rishim met Master Falsen Sunim. Through some very interesting circumstances, too. Almost as though the fates had conspired it. Almost as though Rishim were meant to be there. And knew not. Yeah. By what manner he, he arrived. But without getting into that part of the story... Rishim found himself sitting before Master Paulson Sunim, amongst a, a number of other people who had come to visit the Master. And the Master began to speak, and Rishim heard none of his words. But Rishim heard his voice. And in the tenor of his voice, Rishim recognized that this man had no hole. There was no emptiness within him. There was no questioning. This man contained what Rishim had sought. And so Rishim began to follow Master Falsen. He visited as often as he could, and one day, Master Falsen arranged a meditation retreat where all of his students who were willing, would come and sit in unbroken meditation for seven days. Now this was not the kind of meditation of uh, uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, of, of ancient lore, the kind of meditation where you sit for 24 hours, seven days a week, for seven days, but the kind of meditation where you sit in meditation and then you work in meditation, and then you eat in meditation, and then you sleep in meditation, but you stay on the temple grounds and you meditate seven days straight. And there is nothing outside, and there is no contact. You stay on the temple grounds, and that's where you are, and this is what you're doing. And Master Walson invited Rishim to participate, and Rishim faithfully did. And on the fourth day of meditation, of constant meditation, Rishim Sunim stepped outside the temple. So you didn't leave the temple, you are still on the grounds and about. But you could go outside and have a walk in the gardens, that sort of a thing. Rishim stepped outside the temple and met a small boy playing with a ball in the street. And his days for these seven days, his days had been filled with a very rigid schedule and rigorous meditation and form and function and structure and uh, wake up at this time and, and eat at this time and meditate at this time and now walk and now sit and everything was so rigid and formal. And then Risham met this boy on the sidewalk, kicking a ball. And in that moment, Rishim could feel that slight awareness of this is so different from what we've been doing. 
And also in that moment, and thanks to the several days of constant meditation, Risham also felt that this moment was as true and as perfect as all the others that he'd had throughout the meditation. And so Risham forgot his hesitance and played with the ball and the boy and just kicked the ball around. Imagine a monk in training stood outside during the meditation, during a seven day retreat, playing football with a small child. And then the temple bell sounded and it was time for Risham to return to the meditation. And he did. But when he came back to meditation, he came without himself. Because he had left the self on the street next to the boy. Risham Hengenim had realized in that moment the nature of his self. That feeling of, this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing right now. This isn't right. Triggered in Risham the reality, the recognition of the truth. Which is that his self was an anchor. The anchor of everything that he'd done, everything that he'd seen, everything that he'd been previously. The anchor of what he thought other people thought of him. The anchor of what he thought of himself. The anchor that would have stopped him from playing soccer with the boy because he was in the midst of a rigid formal meditation retreat. Rishan kicked off the anchor, broke the chain for the first time in his life, and played soccer with the boy. And when he returned to the mat, he was not the same person. That person was dead. That person, Risham now knew, had never actually existed. But only in the mind of Risham Hengenim. I've came to a realization. Pawn your soul. Self-harma. Self-karma. I... I completely perceive everything that you're speaking of, for I am the master. <laughs> I hope you mean it. I hope you mean it. I hope you're not just being silly. And of course, the the fun of that story is that um, my name is Risham Hengenim. As though you didn't see that one coming. That is my Dharma name. I am Risham. And that was my experience. And I let go of the chain. The chain of everything that had come before that wanted to shape everything that was now. I just let go. I just kicked it off. No more anchor. No more idea about me and who I am and what I am and what people would think if this and what people would think if that. I am now. This. Here. I am. I am that which is called I am and nothing more. I recognize the nature of the self to be a, the burden upon reality. The limiting factor that stopped me from being able to experience life truly under the fear that I would not live up to my own expectations of what I thought myself to be. I invented the fucking prison and then locked myself inside of it. And after a few days of meditation, I looked around and realized, oh, this is a prison I've made. And I've made it. And what's this in my pocket? The fucking key. 
and I chose to leave the prison. And for the better part of, or more than, a year after that experience, life was like a fucking David Bowie music video or something. I, I don't, it, life was not, I, I was, Free in a way to experience things in a way that I had never experienced them before. It was a break. It was a completely new world. And the only thing that needed to get out of my way was me. My ideas with me. So. Who are you? Because whatever you think you are, you've just limited yourself. You just built a prison. Isn't that all that that is? Isn't that all what the opinions and the ideas and your, you know, all of that? Is any of it more than just a prison? More than a limiting factor on what you can be right now, who you are in this moment. My master, Master Hwal Sun Sunim, taught that you are a new person in every breath. You are dead and born again in each breath. And I'm here to tell you, you can not just understand that, but you can experience that. Because it is truth. It is reality. And it's not something that you need to conceive or rationalize or think about. That's just more... Why, that's just more prison you're making there. Build an idea around what is, put it in a box, give it a name, decide what it is and therefore what it isn't, where it makes sense, where it applies and where it doesn't. Why, that's, that's not getting any closer to anything, is it? I'm right now going for uh, PBIL or PB in the segment. Do I have it? 12596. I think I got it. I think I got it for as long as it took me to click the button. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll have to see an IGT. When we finish this run, I may have just gone as fast as I've ever gone through World 1. So up over here, and then back through there, and we pop up and over. We'll land you, we'll get under this log by shifting a little bit to the left, because the log can catch you on the right. Then we'll go into 2-3, we'll drop off, get real fast, we we'll take a pop here, look for another pop to take, I did not find it, so we're going to the backup, we'll touch every truck on the way out. PB will blowing my mind. <laughs> that was the goal. Uh, I may not have it actually, the more that I think about it, probably not. But it's close. It was a damn fast run, and I saw it happening while it was happening. I just didn't pay it much mind. And that's why I had a chance at it. <laughs> Tell me about Wanyo and the hot dogs! Understand it! Explain it to me. Wanyo and the hot dogs. Hmm? What is the nature of yourself as a limitation and a restriction? have to do with the nature of reality. Hmm? What is the skull? What is the water? And who are you? Ha! The extra hot dogs are just for the ladies. <laughs> I will accept that answer, correct. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the most fucked up Zen master. Because I would accept that answer. I'd be like, you know what? That's funny. You got it right. <laughs> My students would be fucking hilarious, but they wouldn't know shit about shit. <laughs> Come on! Give me, a, yeah, give me a pop from you. Up and over. Thank God there's a truck here. Sometimes there isn't. We can move out with that and into world three. Get low and go fast. Eh. Eh, three one is better just taken safely out. Get to the left, fall back into the right. Three two, we want this mega jump from the front truck. Ooh, I was late on that one, so we don't get it. We do not get it. We go for the backup. 
run it out to the right. We lose four seconds, maybe five doing it this way. But, you know, we didn't take a death and we're 30 seconds ahead. So we are currently on second place, second place pace, second rank pace. in the no ability percent category. Fall out, come back in, hit the thing, turn the corner, go in. Off to the right, fall. Ah, it's too low. Got it. Okay, now three six. Just a quick out here. Three seven, they gave me the nice little hop that makes this better. I've got a better chance of getting out of here fast, leaving now. Depend on that truck. Truck was in the right place. I got out of here fast. Okay, now 3 8. We want another mega jump ahead right here. Got it. We're in 3 9. I'm going to reset as I come in. Try and get all my hops short, tight, and fast, and then hit you. Didn't get enough of that, but I can get out with it with a still decent time 11.2, faster than any of the other methods that I've come up with for it. And now 3 10 run killer level here uh having to do with this kind of a thing that can happen huh? i'm out okay four one we want to go fast but we want to be safe first and foremost and just not take a death it's a clear path ahead thank you for that good fast and safe for a nine five now long didn't make it short long didn't make it all right, I'm just too out of sequence. I don't have the speed to be able to do this that way. So instead, we're going to walk it in. 4-3, going under the lasers now. Pop over to here. All the way out, back. Give me a pop that'll send me over these lasers. And then walk it in. Very safe way to get some really good speed out of it during the full game run. Now 4-4. Four, four. Another little touchdown here. Uh, I didn't do that right. It's fine, we're out with an 8-7 anyway. Stop. Go. I miscounted how many trucks I needed to, um, to actually touch down on to get out of there. Okay. Through again. And this one, nice and early. 4-6. We're gonna dig our face in there, take a nice pop that sends me all the way out to you. Short pop, short pop. Off the front and in. 4-7. Grind you, pop up and over that. Find something to dig into for some height. Holy crap, I managed to make that work. Damn it, I was there, but I thought I was gonna hit that, the first laser. Okay, pawn. Do something like that again, but this time don't die. Hit, and out. Thank you, four, eight. Don't mess this up. Yeah, just got up and over him. And then under and in. 10, 6, 4, 9. I want the mega jump, but it's a hard one to get. Yeah, I didn't get it. We'll stop. Jump forward now. Stop. Go. Go. And in. 4, 10. We reset as we come in. We go pop. We go pop. Come off of here with a bunch of speed so when I hit that ghost pop there, it flings me all the way up to this truck. Get straight out to the front trucks and then go straight to goal. On the left side, the terrain is lower on the left side, so be careful for that. That hammer didn't get in my way, which means I have all the speed that I could possibly want. I can go straight to goal on 5-1, 5-2. Going to take the safe path, and good, good choice, because I wasn't going fast enough. You heard that explosion to my right? That little pusher would have gotten me. 5-3. Hammer's in a good place. I can go the straight down the middle path. Just got a touchdown on something here, and then we can push out. 5-4 now. Want to get a lot of speed off of you so I can connect with the top of this. Keep that speed, get out to you. One more hop to the front truck and out. Now 5-5. Five, five. Going for a mega jump off of this guy. Didn't get it, but we've got some height. Ah, almost made it work. Try it again. Mega jump from you. Got the mega jump this time. I'm going to try and go up and over. It's safer than dealing with the trucks down there. 5-6, a mega jump to open. Need a big one. Yeah, we got all of it. Going straight in on this one. The pullback just a little bit. 5-7, looking for the up and over the castle wall. Off of this mega jump. I don't trust it, so I'm going to pull back. Ooh. 
Just barely cleared the wall on the second pop. Yeah, ha 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 Get up on the truck. Yep. Nope. Ah. I was looking at things that were too close because I was having so much problems, so I wasn't aware of what was going to happen ahead. Way down to you guys. Look carefully. All right, we got three nice untouched rows of trucks. Go straight to goal on that. Five eight. Another mega jump here to try and get up and over the flames. Okay, I got ah, just bad positioning on the trucks. Well, you need that mega jump from there, Pawn. Yes, I do. There we go. There's the big one. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna come down on the fronts of them. Son of a bitch, I'm throwing it all the way here. Come on. It's 5-8. It used to be harder than it is these days for me, but um, this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Uh, okay. 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 I didn't mean to pause there. I accidentally hit the uh, the E button. Good thing that I did, because I, I think I was reaching for the R button to reset the level and uh, it actually gave me a way out. So I wouldn't have wanted to have reset the level then. Stop, pause, and then we can make it to goal on that. 510. Oh, give me you. Land, go. This is a tough one. This is a nasty slow one. And we just missed the second popper. I'm not going to that one because it's too far away. Shit, don't shake, don't shake. Let me get past you. I got past you. A little bit more, and then I can make it to goal. Okay, 6-1. And we've lost the green. All to 5-8. I'm not going to go for this again. We got it once today. I'm not going to push my luck. I'm not even going to go for the uh, secondary out there. We're just going to wait it. We're going to sit here, and we're going to wait it. And this will show you the difference if you were here for the first run when I got it out in 22.5. That's 26.8, so it's a four-second time save to do all the hard work and take your life into your own hands. Uh-oh. Yep, that's enough. That is enough. We're in. Thank you. 6-3. Pause here for just a moment. Into you for a mega jump. I didn't get the mega jump. Come on. Yep. All right. Backed it up. Managed to back it up. 6-4. Thank you. Pop, pop. I'm gonna stop here. When I see the shadow, I'm gonna go. It's a little bit early. I think we can still hit it. We got it. 6-5. Low, get fast. Off of you. Good. Managed to keep the speed through the explosion. 6-6. Uh, six, six. Can I get the speed here? Nope. Didn't make it. We have to go after that clapper, and I got stuck in the mess. I got the speed this time, though. Oh, shit! All right, well, we got through before the clapper clapped. So this technically could be faster, I guess. We're 13 0 6 7 Uh-oh. I made it out. Falling, falling, falling. Back on the space bar. Get in there. Tilty World. Always a tricksy kind of a level, this one. Whoa! Yeah! What are you doing? Aha! Uh -huh. Thank you! <laughs> Always a tricksy kind of a level, that one. 6-9. I'm gonna do three jumps from up here and then push out to the left. Ah! Uh, gonna take one more jump to get that speed back that I just scrubbed for the landing. And come in here. 6-10, first try, first try, first try, first try, first try! Oh, it was as friggin' tight as you can get it, too, for a sub-five-second time. Throw me, baby. Okay, we're up and over. I'm gonna turn in a bit. Get back on that space bar. And go! Ran through 7-1, seven, 7-2. One, seven, I forgot again. Any percent still kind of messing with my head. I forgot what I do for here. Come on. Here we go. Off the space bar so that we can fall faster. In with an 11 0 after two friggin' deaths, stupidly. But we can save time here. Stop. Go. Well, I don't know over PB. Nope. PB might have gotten this first try. It's one of the harder levels. Stop.
Stop. Go. Gotcha. I can make it to this truck, which means we could still do the diagonal. Which generates a lot of speed. It gets me across here. I lost the speed. Hit! Going on the outside, bringing it in. 7 4, get me up here. Let's get lucky. We didn't get lucky last time. Okay, we got lucky. One long jump from here, one short jump and out. Now 7 5. I want a mega jump from this truck. Second single ahead. Isn't much of one. There's no trucks up there. You're gonna run into one, you're gonna run into one. I need you to get a little bit closer and then I'll take the risk, because we do have to catch up to these trucks before they start pulling away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's been a while since I did it this way. Ah! Oh! Managed to bring it in even though the game was trying to shake me to the right. 7-6. Low. Come off of you. Didn't quite make it out to the middle truck. So what are you gonna do? Alright, well you didn't bounce, which is helpful. Stop here. You guys clap together. I think I'm early, so I'm just gonna wait it. Because I don't want to fuck up this part. And we're in on 7-6. Seven, 7-7 six. Seven, seven now. Give me that pop. Throw me up. Good and high means we can come over the front lip. Come off the space bar so we fall faster. Right strafe back with a little bit of a twist. Here I get back on the space bar and start feeding this in. And we're in. 7-8 longest level in the game for no ability percent. Wow, I actually got hit by a truck there. That's odd. Okay. Carrying on. Off of you to the front stop. And then we'll just turn around and we'll watch him come in. Watch the explosions behind us. Everything leading up to this mega jump up here. Mess up the mega jump, you could get yourself killed and lose 40 some seconds, and that's a run over. High pressure mega jump. Got it. Enough of it. You can get it great, but I got enough of it. 710, 779. Give me this. Okay, so I got something out of it, but it's not what I wanted. It wasn't a full-on pause boost. Get out. We got through 7-9. It's another one of those run-killer levels. All skill, no luck, everybody. All skill, no luck. 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 Got it. Uh, didn't give me the hop to enter into 8-1, so just take a number of them. You're in no rush to get to the front trucks! Just don't die on the way. Now go. And we're out. 8-2, turn around and walk it in. 8-3. Hop. 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 Go. Throw me up and over. I will land you. Get up to you. Stop for a moment, then go. Shoot, I messed that up. That was my bad. Pulled off one of the keys. A little bit early. Give me that throw again. Out to the middle truck. Whoa! Uh huh. Gonna need a pop from you. Okay, I have screwed up everything here. So now we have to just try and fucking survive it. This is a nasty, nasty level me out to the place where I want to be as opposed to where you keep putting me. So here to there, then go. Work it through. Stop, dig, up and over, in. Alright, 8-4. I need this the, the super fast way. Which would be like this. Now 8-5. Very hard to go straight to goal off of that. You gotta have an immense amount of speed when you get there. I'm gonna pause here for a moment. I'm gonna go. Wow, those trucks were really spread out. I shouldn't have paused at all. 8 6, stop. Go. Sit it, jump it. Stick it, jump it. Pop! High into the air off of that one by holding both the jump and the forward at the same time. These guys just hopscotch them to the end and. 
come out with a left strafe. Eight seven. First of the two speed rail levels. Me up to the front, please. Thank you. Give me that pop. Send me all the way to the top. We'll land one of these two front trucks. Oh! Oh! We're good. We're fine. Didn't even lose time. Okay. 8-8 eight, eight now. Off of you guys. We're gonna land the two in midair. Come off of them for the jump. Hold the space bar to parachute down to slow your fall. Get on this guy to the front truck if he's here. And then move off about now. If we've got enough jump, we can land these two in midair. Come to the front truck. And then as we cross the seam, go straight to goal. Now, 8-9. I'm gonna get up here, I'm gonna take a slight pause, and then I'm gonna go. Slight pause might just be a, in my head, it feels better. I started getting luck, or started getting good when I started doing that, I don't know. 8-10. Hop forward, back off. Come on through those pipes, and we're gonna fall down onto this third truck back. We're gonna start pushing through as soon as we land. Land out here, stop, up and over once, up and over again. We're gonna jump straight up in the air there, and then over these two to the front truck and then go out. And now we're into hell. If I don't save time through the early levels in hell, we have no chance at PB. I think. And I didn't save time there. And I get 9 too. Uh, nope. Still decent flow. 9 3 is a place where we could probably save some time if I get lucky. I didn't get lucky. Give me that. And to you. And keep it going. Out with a 16 second time. Yes. Uh, reset 9-4 as we come into it. Oh, God, I don't like the look of that. Okay, stayed alive. To you, let this pass. Oh, that's the run. That just killed the run. Getting stuck on that guy. Just killed this run. He popped up in my way, I had no path to go. One, two, three, go. And I've messed this up too, so I'm losing time here. I could actually get killed before I get to the exit on this one. See that stuff? Yep, yep, that's a, that's a dead run. We'll finish it out, because we came all the way. So, it, uh, it. Uh. Very specific pattern for these jumps. Straight out and in. And six. If I have any tricks to pull out, now'd be the time. Give it a throw. Off of you. One more and out. Nine seven. Let's be really aggressive with nine seven. Coming to a stop? Hmm. I was trying to be really aggressive with it, and he came to a stop on me. Nothing, just ate the jump. Yep, yeah, that's the that's the run that's the run super dead. If it wasn't dead before, it's ultra dead now. Yeah, I can't even be bothered to finish it. Good run though. Very good run. We were killing it. We were killing it. Ugh. Uh, let's have a look back at these times while it's still running. Oh my god, I was golden all over the place in World 8? Are you kidding me? That many golds out of World 8? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, any other golds, or was it just all across World 8? How the hell I just must have been on in World 8? Managed to get almost 50 seconds ahead, uh, into Medieval World there, and then that 5-8, man, that was, a uh, that was sort of PB killer right there. That was second place killer. I mean, we got a lot of time back, so there's more time saved here. Man. 
titty sprinkles are better than regular sprinkles. Milkshakes my mommy made. <laughs> I hope that's a quote from somewhere that I don't get. Otherwise, there's something wrong with you, boy. <laughs> that was really good. I can't believe I got three golds all in one world like that. 8-1, really? I just ran through that fast? I mean, I had problems at the beginning of 8-1, so I guess once I came into it, I just went full out because I felt I was late for the level, so I didn't slow down at all like I usually do. No one likes sprinkles, shut up. <laughs> and then 8-4, I got with the fastest method that we have. Uh, the IL gold kind of method where you don't stop and you don't wait for any of those trucks. You gotta get very fortunate for that, so that makes sense that I would've golded there. 8-9. The hell is 8-9? The... Through the gears? The clockwork? I golded on that? I guess I've never gotten or tried in these splits, the skip. There's a skip on 8-9, let me show you. Yeah, let me see if I can't show you anyway. I'll show you what I mean to do, and then you'll see what actually happens. So, from here, if I get it ever just so, I can go straight to goal without touching the last, um, the last try. True, true story. Okay, so it's just, it's you're remembering your past. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah. Um, but going straight to goal like that would have come in faster than our uh, eight nine time. Yeah. So wow, wow. Good run. Very good run. Uh, yeah. Update those times. Our sum of best is now down to nineteen thirty. It's there, baby. It's there, you know, and I was waiting for that to hit 1930. I wonder if it's been there all day and I'm just now noticing it. But if I show you my, um, uh, cluster truck spreadsheet leaderboard data. So this, it's been ages since I updated it. But in case you haven't seen it before, if I drop live split, it would be easier to see more of this. Uh, what we were doing was I was keeping track while I was running for ILs over here, what my fastest times were and what my rank was when I got them. Uh, and we were grinding down toward having all the top 50 times, being in top 50 times on every single level. That was part of my training for speedrunning. Uh, and since it's been ages since we've updated it, so this SOB would go down, but having all of that data allowed me to put together this spreadsheet, which shows, you know, all of my fastest times through all of the levels of the game, put back to back, uh, which gives us a sum of best of 19 minutes, 14 seconds. And that has changed significantly. The fact that my sum of best in live split is now 1930, means that the true sum of best uh, by all the IL gold methods, if you got them perfectly and went as fast as possible, is got to be in the low 18s now, if not high 17s, uh, based on the various methods we've come up with to make these things faster. <sighs> what, you're arguing about dog loving? Did you not learn the, the moral of Juan Kyo and the hot dogs? <laughs> Why do we care about some of best? Uh, it makes us feel better when we're not actually getting PBs. I am still understanding the taste of spam. Okay. Have you tried eating it out of a human skull? It worked for it worked for the other guy. <laughs> Maybe that's what the taste of spam actually is. It's just something that was in a human skull. That would make sense. Um, the sum of best, uh, if we care about it, we care about it because it, the sum of best in case it is, is not is obvious is, um, the fastest you can run every level individually, uh, if all the luck were with you and you delivered exactly perfectly. So we add all those up and we find out, like, how fast this game can possibly be run, uh, in no ability percent by a human player. Uh which is completely unrealistic because there's so much RNG in this uh, in this game, 
you know, good luck with that. But right now, this sum of best back here, this 1914, which, as I say, it's it's deep into the 18s, if not all the way down to a high 17 now, um, based on new methods and new movement tech and stuff like that. Uh, the world record is just like 1921, and then it's almost up to two. So it's like three minutes off of what this sum of best reads. So the world record right now is probably five minutes off of four to five minutes off of the the most, you know, ideal, just perfect. You got everything right. Probably more like four minutes than five. But somewhere around there. But what, am I correct in my assumption that you were essentially saying uh, that by defining yourself as anything, you limit yourself? Um, is that the whole philosophy story thing? It's it's a surface level intellectual interpretation. Yeah, I mean that's that's a fair kind of a thing. I mean it, that is the very sort of human beings talking about shit, uh, you know, way of saying it. That yeah, you you limit yourself with your own ideas. You have an idea of what you are, of who you are, of where you've been, of where you're going, of what you're gonna do. You know what you've done, what you're gonna do today, and what you hope to do in the future. And all of those limit your possibilities as a human being. And and that's your identity. That's what it's built on. And what function does it serve you? Except to limit your possibilities. But I'm me. I'm my opinions. I'm my ideas. That is me. That's my mind. That's this is all I have. Well, okay. Uh, in the practice of Zen, you sit down and you shut up and you you just you know focus on your breaths and you slow the mind and um, you are given the opportunity to see that you are something other than just that that the affinity and the uh, almost desperate, I mean, that's what ego is, the desperate need for the rigidity of yourself is not you. It's a thing that you've created, but it's not you. And you can just be anything else at any time. So there's, you know, word word ways of saying it word ways of saying it, um, but saying it, understanding it, knowing the story, knowing the answers to the questions, as I said before, the, the question, if the question is the gate to, uh, you know, reality, to truth, uh, then having the answer is the same place. It's, it's, it's exactly the same place on the path. You know, there is a reality, it's just the other side of this gateway. You have the question, then there's a gate between you and, and the, the truth. You have the answer, there's still a gate between you and the truth. Having the answer is, is no supplement for experiencing reality. Which is a simple thing to say, you know, it, it sounds all mystical and stuff, but it, it makes perfect sense, you know. You could teach a, a horse to stomp when you ask, two plus two, what is it? You know, it has the right answer, but the horse doesn't even understand intellectually that two plus two equals four. It knows that when it hears a human make a sound, that it's supposed to go. And on a only slightly higher <laughs> conscious level of consciousness, you know, we are also taught that two plus two equals four, and now we know the answer. Um, but it is not. Knowing that is not reality, is not perception, um, you know, and then you can actually know that two plus, you can know what four is, know what four means. Uh, if that means you didn't want to hear hi, wait, who, what? Hey, Pong, you were suppressing uh, YouTube Ronan Pong chat on the overlay. Average Joe had some stuff to say that didn't have money attached. Am I? Who? With the what and the where? What do you mean I'm suppressing? Huh? Are my, is my um, propaganda force out in full effect at this point? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Average Joe is talking in the YouTube chat. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I've got the YouTube chat turned off. Uh, it's been that way for a long time. Uh, I don't know that anything will change my, my opinion of having it off. It seems to work out pretty... I, I like where we are right now. I like where we are. Things, things just seem to work pretty, pretty well these days. Uh, YouTube chat isn't coming through on the overlay. No, it's not. <laughs> 
there's there's no YouTube chat isn't even supposed to be on uh, on any of the channels. Uh, but YouTube recently fucked up my live stream. Like it just reset everything, which is why one of the live streams went public after I was done with them. They're supposed to go unlisted, but. Uh, the day that I had to restart the live stream three times, it's because YouTube did some shit on the back end and everything was reset. And my linkages weren't there anymore. And when I put in all of the information again, it I had to go into the back end and, and change settings and shit. So if there is chat on YouTube right now, it's not a supposed to be there. I'll have a look at that the next time we start up a live stream. Aww. <laughs> Maybe it's a conspiracy to keep us all inside so the AI could take over. Hey, if that's if that's the case, if we're all living in like a, a vast simulation for whatever purposes, Zen will still be exactly correct. <laughs> because Zen is not built on a philosophy or an ideology, it is built on observation. You know, Zen is that's why I say if I had a dharma, I would mine would be the uh, the science of Zen. Uh because there is no difference, you know, there's the observations that have been made about reality. The, the difference comes in how far along science is in comparison to how far along Zen is. And it's it's unfair to science because Zen has had a lot longer uh, time to work on this thing. But, you know, it's it's very natural for all of us in um, you know, just for modern cultures, modern intelligent human <laughs> beings um, to to, you know, acknowledge that that karma is real, but not call it karma, call it, you know, physics. Physics is real. It's not a world made of magic and stuff like that, but physics is real. And, and reaction, rea action, reaction, and, and you know, the, the laws of thermodynamics. Um, but it is startling how, to the intelligent modern uh, human being, these laws seem to end the moment that they hit your brain. The moment that they hit your mind mm? because well it is very like common for peoples of a scientific bent to you know acknowledge obviously that that everything is interconnected and everything affects everything else um when you start talking about mind also affects everything it is it is surprising the number of people out there who i i think just haven't considered it but it is also the truth. Just because the electrochemical reactions that are going on behind this plate of bone are behind a plate of bone, that's no insulator, you know? It's not a copper mesh that's keeping it all in. Like, what you think changes the universe, one, on your individual, like, speaking from, in, in so many different ways, that's the thing, you start talking, and I start talking Zen, and it's like, there are multiple levels at which I could speak to these things, um, but, you know, if, if we're talking about, uh, uh, the impact that, you know, uh, the, the butterfly in the field flaps its wings, and then a pack of rhinoceros go, oh, shit, I hear something coming, and, and now there's fucking the, changes the cycles of the weather, and now there's a tsunami, and there's, there's a hurricane, and then the hurricane, and we're like, ah! that all of that comes from the flapping of the wings of, of a butterfly. Your thoughts are a butterfly. You, you can't escape that level of karma, that, that acknowledgement of physics, uh, because you keep them inside, because you keep them behind a plate of bone. That It doesn't stop, you know. The, the, the vacuum or the, the spans of air, the vacuums of space, there, there is no insulator that separates us from anything else. Your thoughts are part of it all, and it is also energy that affects everything. As should be obvious through, through science, but when you start talking about that kind of thing, people immediately are like, yeah, well, so what are you talking about, mind reading and shit like that? No, but sure. I mean, we got fucking devices that they could strap to your head and read your fucking mind. We Do not fish in puddles on the way to the pond. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. It's fun, though. I don't fish in puddles. I splash them. I jump in and splash around. Don't fish in them. No, but fucking splash in them. <laughs> Kick the mud around. Have some fucking fun. Why not? We only have eternity to get there and we will get there we are already there it is there it, it is it is it always was and it always will be that moment exists we're on our way 
along the perception of the moments as, as we've strung them together, but they all are eternal and permanent. We're moving through them as a consciousness, imagining that they're happening as opposed to we are experiencing what is. And, and we'll get to that moment. And along the way, I'm going to fucking jump in some puddles, splash around, make mom do the laundry. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Uh, and that said, we've come to the end of this live stream. You know, it dropped some spiritual bombs. Fucking Mike. You know, I did some of those. We get a run today that was PB pace, uh, three seconds slower than my PB. The, the run that we just had was on pace to PB. Until like 9-4, and that was just some dumb fucking luck. And then, then it all fell apart at 9-7, so I don't know how it was going to go if I would have gotten through 9-4. But, you know, two good runs, bunch of bullshit about Zen. You know, you now carry with you, whether you want to or not, because apparently you're stuck with yourself, and I've just implanted in yourself. You can't just drop the anchor, so along with yourself, now you carry with you the Quadu, the Koan of Wankyo, the Skull, and the Hot Dogs. Live with that shit, everybody. Hmm. Plum out. Hmm.